wonder like the niggas think that. But hey, would you guys, if I was smoking crack right now instead of weed, would you be? Would you immediately treat me different? Like I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah. This honestly, no. Nah, like if you did, I'm like, yo, like, can I talk to you? Like, like how long has this been a thing? Like, what's going on? It's a double standard time though, right? But what if you said like I'm trying to party and he just started ripping lines on on the show? Like you probably be like, oh, you got money. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this nigga's wild. He got money. <laughs> like, well, you going hard tonight. Yeah, right, like, right. If you smoke crack, see, that's what I'm saying. That's that racism. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah. We need to embrace crack, bro. Embrace crack, huh? That's part of our, you feel me? But crack me nah, out. Nah, nah, looking nah, like nah, beat nah. up and shit. Well, no, nah, because like coca. So I see something on uh, Twitter the other day. This woman said she did like like so much coke start like deteriorating her nose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's had, like, she had like the nose, like her yeah, nose. Yeah, through. Yeah. It, like she got a backward for her nose. That shit. It looked like an umbilical cord on her face. Yeah, dog. Yeah, it looked like it was disgusting. It was. It was. All right, episode one. Currently in focus. Yeah, (laughs) do them responsibly at the minimum if you're going to. Currently in focus podcast. Big three back in the building, man. You know, you know how we rock it. Your eyes are like, why are you here? Judging by my steel, I got something to do here. Give up the money or the angel cries two tears. Front of your crib sounding like Chinese New Year. Brack, 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 cat, 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 cat. All right, real quick. You know, we back at it. Honestly, Blake, the fact that you didn't start episode 112 by playing Peaches and Cream, I'm very disappointed in you. I don't have that in my Serato. I'm sorry. There's three, There's three niggas in here, bro. <laughs> it, how you? One twelve was three niggas. One twelve. I could have done is, like Blake um, is wearing the like '90s R&B nigga beanie right now. This, hey, low key. This, this is the six man fit right here. Classic movie. Classic. <laughs> Shout out my that, cousin, man. That is literally that outfit. That's hilarious. Did you guys see that uh that video with them like barbecue and Marlon on the grill with the family? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Marlon Wayans. Yeah, Marlon Williams said barbecue and Marlon on the grill. Marlon was barbecuing food yeah. for the family. Oh, and all the Waynes was out. Yeah, yeah, yeah they no, I seen that. Yeah. That'd be a dope ass family. Everybody's kid. Uh, it looked like it was funny because he was just talking shit while grilling. All the food looked delicious. Oh and I just know it, I know it had to be funny. You better come yeah. correct. You walk in there, they're gonna fry your ass for show. Like if... they say, they can't go to funerals together. They say. <laughs> <laughs> They said they was talking about one of their cousins. Like, yo, why they put him in that? Like to be buried, man. Like, they get our periwinkle for real, periwinkle. <laughs> yep. like, there's no way there's a more talented, a no more talented family on the planet. They cover all aspects. They got comedy, writing, acting, management like, too. They acting. everywhere. Yeah. yeah, they do everything. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, you it's, see, uh, it's that's gotta be it. Marlon. Marlon named his son Sean, and Sean named his son Marlon. Uh, they wasn't that's brothers. I cool. see pause, but. <laughs> That's fucking, no, that's fucking weird. That's hell. Yeah, that's kind of cool because, like, they're like, no, it's the, not. I think they're the two youngest, and they're probably so, like, you know, they're kind of like always. They're seen as like a tandem, like always together. They probably had each other's. What that got to do with their like kids? The hey man, I need my son after you. Name my son after me. Doesn't yeah. Marlon have a son named Marlon too? Though I'm pretty nah, sure Marlon has. I think a Marlon they just named their sons after each other, or one of them. That, that's just not wilder than um the fucking having a junior then. Oh, so he had another son to name that son Brian McKnight Jr. Oh, oh, oh that is kind of crazy. Sounds like Brian McKnight's a bad guy, honestly. That's hella funny. He's yeah, a terrible just, father. Well, okay. outside was looking in. Yeah, we don't got all the facts. Jamal, it might be even worse because Marlon has a son named Sean, but Sean doesn't have any sons. He just has daughters. Oh, what? I thought they uh, <laughs> named their sons after each other. So Sean not. doesn't have a son? Let me, let me double check the Pedia, but it does not appear as such. Uh, oh, it, it doesn't even have. Oh, it says he has three kids. Only has the names listed for two though, so maybe his third kid is. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what everybody was saying on the internet. So I just, you know, if everybody's saying it, that means it is a fact. Never been wrong. Listen yes. to everybody on the internet. Honestly, that's funny. Majority makes a fact. All right, hold real quick because yeah. we're talking about brothers and uh, appropriate and inappropriate shit. Uh-huh. Um, this just popped up on my YouTube today. I seen a story from Florida. Um. Apparently there was like a, an aquarium or some shit like that. You all, y'all know what a manatee is. I don't have to explain it to you, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Making sure. Shout out. Shout out. Uh, Tacoma Public Schools. What if our um, listeners don't know what a manatee is, though? I'm not explaining it. It's fuck. <laughs> Ask your parents. Um, <laughs> either way, they had an aquarium down there, and um, apparently they have these two manatees in there together, 
and one of them ended up dying, but it was from um, injuries from like intercourse from its brother. Hey, yo. Hey, come on. It's fucking colon ripped and it bled out. <gasps> oh. But apparently, like, man, he just don't give a fuck. And, like, I'm finding out, like, you know, they said that about dolphins, too. But, like, apparently, like, yeah. nature's just, like, way more rapey than we're ever presented. Nah, yeah. yeah. I, I let, Na- I let nature sounds rapey oh, and gay. gay. Yeah. The, the, I don't even – can you call it gay if they don't have sexuality? Like, they just don't give a fuck. It just goes in whatever. I don't have another word for it. You are right, but I don't have another word for it. I still feel like – yeah, I guess I'm – there ain't no pronouns in the manatee pond. Like, it's, <laughs> hey, yo, like, I'm, proud. <laughs> like, what you doing over there? Everybody's going oh, to turn you. Down. I got you. There you go. Nah, it's still your damn. How's it sound now? It's still your, you much better. It's still your sibling, though. It's like, you finna just throw it off <laughs> in your sibling. Yeah, that, like, to his point of, like, they don't have sexuality. I don't think animals really even be thinking of, like, family like that, like, other than their parents. For, especially after a certain age, but fucking your sibling to death is insane. Yeah. Fucking anything to death. Is That's insane. what I was saying though. Like I, I put on here, like water is not lube. Just letting y'all know. Like you try to you try to fuck in the shower or a hot tub once, and you find that out immediately. Yeah. It, let's, it, let's in your brain on, on the hub. In your brain. Oh, this shit about to be fine. That shit <laughs> is how water wet but make it dry. I don't understand. Right. I never That's, done the hot tub though. I, I, I give that a try and find out the hard way. That's not fun. Uh, I mean, it's you better than the shower, regular, Lane, bro. You don't got no real cool shower like you see online, bro. You got the regular showers. Yeah, the jet coming from the side to do the steam and all that shit. I've yeah. house that at a lot of people's houses that are richer than me. Yeah, and I and went on a few vacations. I had a hot uh, tub. Do you want them to know what you be doing in their house? Don't do my, that. Uh, my mom. We don't do that. I'm retired. Nigga said I'm retired. <laughs> oh, animals are nasty. Right. But uh, you know what else is nasty? Hey, you know, <laughs> people online. We was talking about this earlier, Blake. We seen the dudes getting like kicked in the nuts with the, the chicks outside of the uh, yeah uh, DreamCon last week with the big red boots. Activate your free. Was um, Miss Trigger happy? Are you, are you guys heard of her before? Nope, but uh, she's our uh, special guest this week on the podcast. Here, here. <laughs> wait, Jamal, I'm trying to open we got the them. tweets that you posted about her, and they're all deleted, so I know it's nasty. Wait, what? Already? All, these, all those tweets are gone. You're lying. For real? Literally just yeah. had this up. Yeah. Dog, yeah. No, it worked on mine. Oh, shit, yeah. it worked on mine. Holy shit. It, just, oh, it tells me that. this page does not exist when I click it. The Amazon position, that was... <laughs> holy shit. All right. How do you how do people find out like because so there's like a uh there's one where like she does like like wedgie domination videos it's like how do you find out you like that I'm I think it's curious. bullying I think it's bullying people, just like a bullying kick like people like shit I like think that. yeah someone got bullied and then they, they thought they were supposed to feel a type of way and then they found out like their shit got hard afterwards and they're like hold on like I need to find I need a way to recreate well, that Blake pull up the uh no up. the fuck. Oh, you- I open the Twitter app and I'm just scrolling her Twitter timeline. She does all this freaky shit in GTA. Yes, she does also a lot of real life. life. She does some of the stuff in real life, but she has like her own like server. I guess it's like some like roulette RP, and Make she it. has like a, a server where like e girls can go online and like have sex with like their fans. She has. Oh, hold on, let me share my. I got my Twitter pulled up. She has a nigga in a GTA <laughs> online modified. Oh, no, oh, in, no. And he's like kneeling down, kissing her feet. No, that animation is not even in the game, bro. Nah, they got custom. Nah, he, they got custom animations, man. I don't. I'm afraid to keep scrolling down because I, I want this episode to be able to go on YouTube. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to keep scrolling her timeline. But the no. fact that she she's get honestly. Shout out to her. That's the most creative shit I've ever seen. Because you get money by doing it in real life, and you're like, somebody will probably pay for me to do this virtually. No, people are paying her. Like she, she, Damn. she has like a server with like other internet chicks to go in there, and people beat the duties down virtually in roulette hey, RP, and they that send is some black mirror money. shit for real. This is exactly why I don't give money to homeless women because <laughs> they could be doing this, bitch. If you don't make that pussy work for you, oh no, <laughs> yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Every, I feel you. every woman is a small business owner, if you really think about it. <laughs> you nah, selling Gucci is one of the first income. three businesses, for sure. I think it was the first. Yeah, yeah they say that's the, the oldest job on the planet. Come on, hey, if you're on the street, you were selling it for the wrong stuff, because you know you didn't sell, sold it for something. 
I don't know if I'd have it in me if I'm a woman. I'm just saying. You got it in you to sleep under a bridge? <laughs> in the cold, they do? <laughs> depending on where. Depending and, on and, where. Hey, and, man, then some, and then someone, trigger warning, someone may come and take it for free because you're outside by yourself? Nah, you better sell that little, shit. Little, 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 <laughs> say, <laughs> trigger warning. Yeah. Blake, Blake putting a, a fucking Yo. taser in his virtual pussy. I'm sorry, I'll booby trap the pussy. <laughs> Yo, watch that uh, wedgie video, Tyro. Like, like, I like, make this make bitch. sense to me. Like, pull up that. That's still probably the last one. I, the tweet still went open for me. I'm just going to our timeline for my Twitter. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in to, there. Try to I go just, the like, wrong way to a paid parking lot. It's gonna be my shit. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, like she was outside DreamCon, you know, the anime convention that was up there. All right. I'm gonna try to pay people it. were paying her money for her. She had the big red boots on and she just kicking people in the nuts and yeah. standing on their heads. I seen someone casually strolling the streets in Seattle wearing them shits. The first time I seen them in public. Wow. For real. You finna cop the yellow ones, Blake? In a I weeks? know that's happening. So thanks for letting me know. If they drop the the Goku boots, though. All right. Hey, <laughs> I looked at them chicks on the Goat app. Now that the hype has died down for those, those mm-hmm. aren't like crazy expensive. They're not anymore. Like resale. What are they? I, the first two weeks, they were like a one for like 1200 they're like so, 350 yeah. retail, right? I think when yeah. they first came out. Yeah. The it yellow ones, because they're a croc collab. The yellow ones that come out with the holes in them, those are 450 retail. Those are kind of hard. Yeah, not bad. They just look hella big. Like when you see well, they are hella big, obviously. But <laughs> Astro Boy. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, the Astro Boy boys. I'm right. afraid I, I didn't keep scrolling her timeline to look for that wedgie video because I know my wife never comes in here when we're doing this, but this would for sure be the time. And she would think we we don't have a podcast. We just do freaky <laughs> shit together just, via Zoom. It's, it's it's our book club where we just share smut. So. This is our this is our striking vipers. Yeah, Blake, hey, you can get yo. the you can get the big red boot. You can get the big red boot <laughs> on the Goat app for uh, two hundred or three hundred and seven bucks in your size. That's oh, cool. Thank yeah, you. you can get them below retail. What I'm gonna do with those? Hey, if we got I'm you those like, for your if we got you those for your birthday, would you wear them? No. If you, you gonna let them sit there? I'd wear them. I probably I probably put them on like display or something. Like, nah, bitch, you gotta wear those to yeah, Brindley's yeah, first parent teacher conference. <laughs> <laughs> we're both getting in trouble. We wanted we wanted to talk to you about her acting a fool in class. We see where she gets it from. Yeah, exactly. The boots explain yeah. everything. I'm coming. But now, nah, uh, shout out to uh the internet chicks selling coochie on GTRP. So I definitely see why niggas are playing GTRP at a rapid rate now. <laughs> And you niggas Tony, are nasty. Tony was talking about building a PC for that, but couldn't build a PC for this. No, nope. yeah, yo, because you, you you brought you, you pulled that up on Twitter. That just reminded me, uh, Beyonce stepdaddy getting in trouble this week, bro. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. I think I feel like they need to put a disclaimer out, like the folks like right on the front of that shit that just says like, "Yo, yo, likes are public." Hit bookmark. Oh, he was liking stuff. Oh, yes. they, I didn't see what he was liking, but the, oh, even click the, the link. The, the, the porn pages don't, was don't share it. Oh, click no. the link though. <laughs> Where? Which one is it? Was it like, like Twitter fails another happy home? It's that one. Oh, okay. is it like nasty shit? Like, yeah, like Doc Rivers nasty. Uh, he's uh, he had some some very uh, strong um, woman loving woman. Oh, Everybody was cool. chocolate in there though. So oh, to him. oh, it's everything. It's it, yeah. He he's a good like page seventeen type of guy. Oh. Like, he he's a scroller. Oh, I follow that page. Yep. Excuse me. We have some mutual uh, followers in in common. Hey, every single one of his likes is porn. Like he he didn't even use this at all for any. Oh, oh sorry, wasn't for anything else. And then an Ava Duvernier tweet. Uh, <laughs> and I thought she's about to start buzzing it open just what she's surrounded with. I was like, yeah, oh, he found course. the shit. <laughs> what is that? Oh my sir. Oh, okay. All right, that's enough. Yep. Yeah. No, you saw the is big that, mean. Is that why Tina's leaving him? The big D is exactly um, what I saw. <laughs> that's what it seems like. Oh man, what a bag fumble! You, hey, look, I know he she can't slim. pick a man though. So let's talk about that. That's oh okay. Are we it allowed to hold on? Beehive, no. relax. Hold on. Are we allowed to? This I don't think the bee, I don't think I don't think the Beehive likes her dad though. Do they so like, like her mom? They love her mom. Yes. So can yes. we talk about her mom fucking up like this? I was gonna shoot her some bail. Hold on, hear me out. She did choose a nick. <laughs> She did choose a nigga with some talented sperm because she got two killers over there. He just might not be a good person. Which, hey, you win some, you lose some, but you live to be the one of the richest people on the planet. 
I feel like this is where we need to talk about Chris Jenner playing the game the right way. I know she done mm-hmm. fucked up on the first one, obviously. Well, respectfully. I don't want no smoke. Uh, but <laughs> on the second one, just been cool, right? Black dude, Corey. Oh, yeah. Um, solid. I don't know. I'm oh, the saying. fake Kanye looking motherfucker? Hey, I'm just saying. I, Ryan Fest, I just, yeah, him. I just got what you meant by she fucked up on the first one. The first <laughs> one was fine. The first one gave her all the talent. The second one, she didn't realize was a bitch. Literally. That was her problem. Oh, he is number three. Corey is number three. Yeah, Corey oh, is yeah. number three. So number one was was solid. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Rob Rob Car or yeah, Rob Kardashian. Yeah. Did he just he he died on her? They were separate. He died. Oh yeah, no, yeah. she. All right, so or at least I'm pretty sure he died. I never done my her. research. I just assumed Bruce was there for a long ass time, but she has been. He was. Um, until Bruce uh, left the planet. <laughs> hey, the the fact that people like stood up so tough for Caitlyn Jenner, like hey. You need to respect this, like da, 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 and all she has done is shit on trans people and gay people no, and like her. anybody who supported her is fucking crazy. She's a secret agent. She's undercover. <laughs> she undercover, all right. Mm-hmm. But yeah. shout out all to right. uh, everybody. Be who you want to be, love who you want to love. Except, clean that except up. her. Yeah. Yeah, no, nobody love her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ever. Fuck, fuck yeah. I mean her, my fault. Ta- all all right, shout right, out to the right. real trans. That was people. Actually- <laughs> it still looks just like Bruce too. Like it's crazy. you can't pop that shit off at sixty eight years old. I'm sorry, like you dog. It's crazy. You, hey, had, then, you had your chance. I'm and sorry. Then she murdered crazy. somebody. Yeah, yeah. No. she's a Big fucking awful player. person. Jesus Christ. GTA driver. Oh, uh, she looks like a fucking uh yeah, the GTA character. Oh, she oh, looks like this. Lord. She looks like a painting, but like you redo it over and you just like fuck it up and you be like fuck it. <laughs> yeah. She says, like, you know, I don't have more time for this. Yeah, like, we're right out of time. <laughs> like, fuck, this art project's doing do. 17 minutes. Let me yeah. paint this nigga real quick. This should do tomorrow. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, we. I, listen, I don't got a segue for this one. I just was clicking links on the yeah, document, and I, I'm taking a bet. Nigga, is this fucking whippets for gamers? No, Taro, that's for you, bro. It's an inhaler for uh for gamers. Nigga, it's a nasal inhalant. You're supposed to sniff this shit. Oh, I don't know how y'all do that shit. I feel like you said you went to asthma camp, so I just figured. I, I seen it on my Amazon today, so I was like, this is my... I was going to send it to you in the chat, but I was like, I'm going to show it to him on here. You put it in your mouth for the irregular inhaler. This shit is crazy. You got it? So you go, you copping? Fuck no. Man, pull that up. How often the, do you have to use your inhaler? Like, is your asthma really bad? Uh, mind your fucking business. I'm not talking about my health on the podcast. I'm not oh, okay, sorry. It was just I didn't think that was too intrusive. It's it's HIPAA, nigga. HIPAA. <laughs> All right. This is so. This is the Get Good Gaming Vapor Sticks, Energy you know Plus Focus Amplifier for esports athlete gamer, <laughs> stimulating aromatherapy, mint scent, portable performance nasal disposable. This flavor is demon berry. That's crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> now you got to cop that. If they, they come all- through with the sponsorship, I need you to stay in solid. You got to yeah. do it live. Yeah. Why, you niggas pl- are the ones that play the first-person shooter games. Why wouldn't you do this? You uh, might we do don't this. have asthma, nigga. You have asthma. This has nothing to do with having asthma. It's not an inhaler. When you're trying to get to Garrus's cheeks on Mass Effect for the 90th time in your life, you just rip one of these bad boys so you don't make sense. The is in full effect. This is fucking crazy. You yep. niggas are making fun of a disability. What is wrong with you? I've been talking about fucking aliens all week, bro. I'm tired of talking about fucking aliens. <laughs> hey, yeah. Is it is it pause if you go across the lines with the alien, though? What do you mean, like, go across the line? Like, if the alien has, like, a dick? Well, let's just say that their male and female isn't defined by, like, a dick or a vagina. It's, like, male and... I think well, that's going to be, like, a deciding... Well, they got to, like, well, we know how it works, like, on Mass Effect. Like, No, you like, don't, Jamal. You, yeah, you don't see no, it. You what don't. are you talking about? You have no but idea I'm, how it works. Well, I guess you know which one we classify as like a boy or a girl, because like you know, like not like better nothing, but like well, because they have masculine energy. But what if the masculine energy is also like has like what is to us like a female reproductive organ? Are you going to go the opposite route then? Well, what like so like okay, yeah, let's say like the 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 feminine presenting alien has the masculine reproductive organ. No, nigga. What the fuck? So you're gonna beat down the one that's like a dude, but it has the women parts. I'm not fucking an alien, man. 
<laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. You get the you're one, alien once once in a lifetime opportunity. You're like, I'm about to fuck an alien. They pull their pants down. You're like, whoa, whoa, too like, far. Excuse me. This is Stop enough. Tuck that back in there. What you, yeah. What, well, you know what I'm thinking? I could see them having like a little like tentacle thing, right? Where it's a vagina, but it's like extended away from your body, like a penis. You could, but you got so you got to stick your penis in their penis shaped vagina. Would you do that, Jamal? There you go. I I can't even visualize it, but it's like man, but this just wraps around your shit on the way in. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you feel good at it, a bitch. That's crazy. But, but Jamal, hey, Jamal, turning uh, once in a once in a uh, universal lifetime opportunity now because it looked kind of like a cop. It's, there's no such thing as space gay. Like I feel like you're probably fine. Man, you just find out that the black Israelites are right and niggas are uh, the aliens. Oh, they come no. down and look exactly like us. Homophobic shit. Nah, man. I don't know. I feel they like come. I'm I'm playing with something. If you what? I feel like I'm like I don't know if I could do that. Y'all made it sound like crazy. <laughs> y'all can't oh, so, so we, we talked you out of fucking an alien? Is what you're saying? I seems like yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, can I we was all for it until you niggas like brought it up. <laughs> before you thought about it, you was just thinking it was gonna be an Asari for Mass Effect and look like a bad bitch with a fat ass. You didn't think that they might have dick fingers. No, but look, you didn't remember earlier this week I brought that shit up about how the Asari will literally kill you if yeah. you're not mashed up with them when you made yeah. her or whatever, if you're the first one. You don't care. He oh. risk death as long as it's not gay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd have sex with anything as long as it ain't on like no gay shit. You think they got BBLs in space? Did you say anything? I said with an alien, as long as it ain't on oh, like, no okay. gay shit. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to get it's it. Like, Jesus Christ! Man. All right, relax. <laughs> oh uh, no! But can we talk about how like the alien, the whole congressional alien discussion? Came so what happened happen? with that this week? Yeah, I didn't see the, I didn't see the official. I just seen everybody there, talking about it. There was a congressional hearing. I don't know what. I don't know if it was just about aliens. But they right. had some government official. Don't know what his role is or was, but he's like sitting in front of Congress saying, like, "Yes, I can confirm that the U.S. government has like obtained crashed you." Uh, I think they were calling like UAP, like unidentified, yeah, unidentified persons and, I guess so. and space flying objects, some whatever the fucking terms are. Basically, he said they have a UFO and an alien Person body. Flying. Like yeah. they have all that shit. It's confirmed. And they're like, well, like, how do you know this? He was like, I, I'm not really able to tell you that. And she's like, OK, I guess like you can't tell me when you found this out. But like it was a whole thing. And he I can't imagine he was he's crazy. under oath. And like, yeah, he's under oath, so I can't imagine he got in front of Congress to lie under oath, and that they just sat there and were like, oh, "Okay, you know." So they, they trying to distract we, us from the real issues going on right now. The real issues did I'll just determine this. Now the real issues is that Gatorade is like two dollars now. That's the real right. issues. No, that's the thing though. People all all week have been making the joke like, "Hey, unless aliens about to pay this fucking rent, I do not care." <laughs> like, oh, yeah, ultimately, yeah. what does it matter? Nigga, it doesn't don't... matter unless they're gonna let us see it. That's all I care about. Well, if, even then, like if we saw it, I mean, then it's just more conversation. But I'm saying, like, um, whether we should feel threatened, whether like we should be looking to talk to these people, like ultimately, like if they found their way here and made it down into our atmosphere and like had a, a craft that somehow crashed or whatever, they're far beyond what the fuck we have. So I mean, it should be tried with extreme caution at that point. I just hope they're not racist. That, and they like that's kind of that, that's mainly why I would care. It's like, hey, what, what, what are these niggas on? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, Jamal, I think you're probably safe on them not being racist. They probably look at us all like fucking insects. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'd be I, I, I'm like, a straight. I just tell them, like, hey, man, you shouldn't be worried about us. We worry about the people that like paper. What know, if they're they like, like, yeah, the, we're not worried about you, but the only way for you to not be worried about us to lay with our women who all have penises. Yeah, you gotta prove prove your bond to our culture. Yeah, they, they say we're they say we're either gonna turn you into a white man or, or you touch that penis. Uh huh. That's crazy. You turn into a white man. Is your name? I do this for. Uh, I gotta do this to save humanity. Yeah. No. You down for this news, your, No, to save yourself. Oh, what happens to everybody else? They get the same option as you. Uh-huh. About that afterwards. They all, they yeah. offer everybody this, so every, we can't make fun of you because unless we turn into white men, we we touch the penis too. What you doing? Oh yeah, well I guess everybody got to do it. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so if all your friends were jumping on a dick, you jump on a dick. You're just saying that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. <laughs> oh, shit. We got him. We, we got him. Got his ass. I'm, cl- <laughs> I'm clipping that. That'll be on YouTube tomorrow. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. 
freak. If all your friends would jump on the dick, that means you do it too. That's crazy. <laughs> Captain oh, America over me. here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. I've been trying to find a way to transition into this first topic since we started talking, but it's been incredibly inappropriate. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, so I'll do it. <laughs> I not not even just shout out to the James family. Um, thoughts and prayers with y'all for sure because that's scary as fuck. Bro literally died. That's what cardiac arrest is, right? Like, yeah, I, I think Demar Hamlin taught everybody with that cardiac arrest is serious because I, even I thought like cardiac arrest was just like, oh, like you had like a heart murmur and passed no. out. Like, nah, it heart means, stops. Like, that means you died. <laughs> Your shit locked up. Yeah. That's- so Bronny's getting the SB award next year for sure because that's how oh, it works. Hundred yeah. percent. So yeah, well, if he was playing the piano you- today. If you were living under okay. a rock, Bronny James at a like a USC basketball workout had cardiac arrest on the court uh, and had to be taken. They, the, when we found out about it, they said he's no longer in the ICU, which is uh, something great to see, but terrifying nonetheless. Somebody sent that to us, and it was like, I don't know, Yahoo be doing weird shit with Shams' tweets where they put it on like, it looks like they're using the ball sack sports font, so it looks fake. Yeah. So someone sent me and Jamal the picture, and I'm like, man, you don't get this stupid shit off my phone. Yeah, so I go to Twitter and it's like, oh no, that okay, that actually happened. I thought it was gonna be one of them things where it's like there's like another Bronny James at USC who like his name is like has an apostrophe or an E or some shit on it, and it's just like they you know how they do that. Bronny. Yeah. yeah, I was like, there's no like way the house. Yeah, the son of LeBron fell down during the conditioning exercise, whatever they were doing. Yeah. But that's it's just so real, cool. man. Like yeah. the year before, um the, my freshman year fossil, y'all weren't there yet. Yeah. Um uh, a young girl actually, I think she died from cardiac arrest during uh, basketball uh, practice. Kiki McLean, yeah. I think her name yep. was. Yeah, she's yeah. she's somebody's sister too. I forget somebody who's still at Foss, yeah, uh, who was at Foss like later. Um, by the way, that's just all over my face back in the day. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. just for real, man. I guess it's just it can happen. Like <laughs> you got to pay attention to what your body's telling you. I guess even I'm sure he was, but damn, like you know he was in yeah. shape too. There ain't no way. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the crazy thing that I think about. Like it's not super uncommon for like athletes to just like drop dead on the field or court or like whatever mm-hmm. sport they're playing and it's just so crazy to like you would think like oh, okay if something like that was gonna happen it would have came up by now it's not just gonna like show up on this like very in shape 19 year old mm-hmm. but it is like some of the best athletes ever have just dropped dead playing the sport that they were very well equipped to play just insane mm-hmm. how quickly that can happen to you i wonder what they were doing I mean, not that Coach it matters, but I just, I mean, I don't Coach know. was having them run suicides and was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've, heard, like, on, um, I've heard, like, on, on like, uh, a couple podcasts this week, one was Raw Room and one was, like, New Heights. They were talking about, like, different <laughs> conditioning deals that they have to do in practice and shit like that. And, like, you know, like, D1 level or pro level, like, they push you different. So, I just, I just, I know, like, it probably wasn't just running lines. Like, they probably doing some shit. Like, yeah. I just wonder what it was. And it's wild, too, because the, the mindset, at least back when we were going through conditioning type stuff, was like, you see a nigga look like he's about to die, and it's funny. Because it's like, man, get your big ass up. The number of times we've seen Sean, like, on the ground throwing up, like, and we were like, man, get your fat ass up and run again. It's like, hey, man, like, we should, nah, we should actually that, be a little concerned. That fucking hill, man. Yeah, bro. Oh. <laughs> Fuck that hill. That hill, yeah. It, it, that shit, I used to hate the hill because, like, people that were in decent shape. Coming up looking like they're about to die. It's like, bro, I'm not. Don't have me do this. You look for the All shallowest right. part of the hill. Going to the hill. Uh, the hill and the ridge at Foss. The, so at Foss, the ridge high school all of us went to, the hill was this like 56 degree angle. Like it had to be, it had to be like 80 yards, if not like a full football field straight up, yep. basically. Yep. Yeah. And they would have us run it. And it was like, grab the fence, run straight up, walk back down, grab the fence, run straight back up. And Blake, I don't know if you've driven past Foss on any of your uh, return trips home, but they've like cut the hill down basically. It's like half the height. Thank God. So oh, they, they can no longer abuse children like that. I'll go do the rest they need me to. That was a good calf workout, though. Hey, the worst Ooh. shit too was like my senior year where we didn't win a single fucking game and they got us on the hill. And they're like, the, on, the only way we're going to beat Bellerman is by outworking them and da da da. Like, go off to Bellerman? Uh, nigga, they lost I everybody. So. Yeah, we, I mean, we lost everybody, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Bellerman had a <laughs> – hey, Bellerman, my senior year, had a quarterback who uh, went no, on – Oh, fuck up. No, he played at the University of Colorado and beat the University of Washington at least once. All um, right. So he was That nice. is crazy. Like, you niggas didn't want to – He was a freshman, but he was nice. Not oh, yet. so the fucking smart school. <laughs> nigga. Got a test to go there. <laughs> didn't you? Shut the fuck up. I tested to go. I did, yeah. 
I tested yeah. to go to Bellarmine too. I was close to It was walking distance from my house. So that was just some shit to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were right there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, uh, shout out to Bronny. Glad he's, glad he's safe. I don't. Do, God, does dude. LeBron let him play basketball again? He like, won a game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all lose to Shelton. Uh, we did not play Shelton. We've okay. talk, Blake, we've talked about this no less than 150 times. I don't remember this. Yeah. Nah, you got, I knew y'all, I knew every, y'all suffered, every, but I thought y'all pulled no, one off. Or one every or time we talk about – no, we, there was, we had like six games that we lost by like four points or less. We also had three games where we lost by like 70. Moral victories, I got you. All right, never, yeah. we got to do this. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Hey, man. He didn't <sighs> that, man. Yeah, they didn't have a quarterback, Blake. That was tough. Oh, like we went to a couple of their games, and that was like the main thing. You see, yeah. like, yo, they'd be cool if they had like. We didn't have a quarterback, players. and we started like seven freshmen on each side of the ball. Yeah, I just yeah. remember y- y'all had fucking Cam Newton tearing that ass up the first week of the season. <laughs> y'all team looked hella small. I like, mm. hella small. But, How y'all make friends with the quarterback that fucking torched you? That's funny. Hey, I still, I, <laughs> hey, I still DM with them every once in a while on Instagram to this day. Oh my he, god! He's probably like, man, where do I know this nigga from? We we've, we've been talking for like thirteen years, but where the fuck uh, I know him from? I'm trying to stiff armed him at the, at the sixteen. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no! He never put hands on me. He never put hands on me. No sir, no sir, no way. I missed a lot of tackles, but he never put hands on me. Cops, right. Hey, like seriously, question though, like what's like a locker room like that? Like like just throughout the season, no like does it like hey, just like no. get progressively like worse, or is it kind of like- absolutely? It, it gets worse in the opposite way that you're thinking. Cause like, well, at least for me, cause I'm a realist, and I feel like a lot of people that you are, are around me, it becomes less real. focused on the game. And just yeah. Like, so like, I remember you. You remember Eugene, the security guard at Fox? Yeah. I remember him yelling at me because we were on the sideline. It was the game we were losing the fucking uh, capital, best team in the state of that year, beat us seventy to zero. Holy shit! It was, it was like. <laughs> They it was at y'all ass. It was, six, it was That's to crazy. Zero. <laughs> they fucked us over so incredibly bad. Oh. Even hold they had they had two receivers that were both four star athlete or three and a four star athlete that were both six three. The tallest person on our entire team was Sean Brown, who was six three. Like we had, I think we had a five foot six corner guarding them, who was a freshman. Like it wasn't. We shouldn't have even been able to play that team. But I remember I was on the I was on the uh, sideline on one of the plays. So I was like, nigga, I'm not going back in this game. And I'm like flipping my helmet on my arm. And Eugene came what? out of the stands and was like, what kind of example are you setting for these kids? But when you're just giving up, you're you're over here laughing and having fun and not competing. I was like, hey. nigga, nigga, it's 63 to zero. What the fuck am I going to do? I'm a no, liner. For real though, I couldn't imagine the senior of my freshman year being that lax for days ago. And they were trash too, like. No, I'll probably be fucked up in the head if I seen that. No, nah, yeah, because it was it was game eight of like a ten game season, and we're losing by sixty. We have no quarterback. Like, oh. nah, I was like, nigga, I'm you. I don't give a fuck. After a while, so the locker room wasn't that bad because like most of us was just in there popping shit. The games where we played good it was like, hey man, I had a decent game. Like, we ain't on shit this year, so I ain't playing football after this. I'm not worried about no scholarship <laughs> opportunities no more. So we just ain't here kicking it now. That's crazy. Yeah, no, no fucking sir. So did anybody Ooh. ever pass like the was it the five or six wins that like my class got? Jamal's class got seven. We got six. Six, six or seven. Six. We yeah. y'all, y'all put on then. All right, go ahead. Yeah, no, nah, that team was hella good. And then there was they were supposed to win seven games, but then uh well, Devontae got, got his, his head fucking wrong. head top taken off his shoulders against Olympia, and that shit went sideways quick. I'll never forget that. We was on the sideline. Devontae, like, hey bro, what are we doing outside? I'm like, oh, this nigga's cooked. Yeah, we, we talk about me. <laughs> Jamal gets on the bus and tells niggas, man, shut the fuck up with all that crying. We we lost the game. You suck. Sit down. Like, I'm looking at my seniors. I'm like, hey, man, these niggas don't give a fuck. It's Jamal's fault I was acting up on the sideline. Shout out, shout out nah, to Bus Jamal. Man. Was, nah, shout out to Dale. But that, he was like trying to, like, he was placing blame on people that weren't even like playing. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, dude, we lost the game. Like, we could have won this game, but Devontae. Yeah, that nigga's his brain's in fucking Alice in Wonderland right now. So, but yeah, no, because I'll never forget it. Like they put like Perosi in at quarterback, and then like I'm in the he's he called the huddle, and he's like, "Yo, Grayson, you line up on the left. Bird, you're over here, or not even Bird, somebody else. You're over here. Uh, Jamal, you stay back and block. Grayson, you run deep. I'm gonna throw it to you. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck kind of play call is that? And then he did it. I'm like, oh yeah, this game is cooked, bro. He's not even calling formations and plays. He didn't say no. I left <laughs> twenty-two or 
pass pro. Why could they never? Why, they couldn't find nobody to play quarterback behind Devontae. Like they, they from, had Noah, but he was like he was kind of small, and I think they just thought he probably wasn't ready. You got to figure how many years they had to like figure that problem out. Because if you think like shitty from, development, man, we got bad coaching, terrible coaching. Because they they, they they knew it from the point like sorry y'all we're we're going deep into some high school football shit that nobody fucking cares about. Yeah. But um from the time like when I was a junior when Andy was like a senior, yeah. like they were you had like three years Andy. to figure out to someone yeah. to develop at that point. No, to, to back up Devontae, just to back up Devontae. Like yeah. I'll never forget that dude, dude. I was like, I could even be bad. I just started laughing. I'm like, oh, this is what we're doing, the NFL street plays. I'm like, man, I'm about to steal a direction out. <laughs> Look, yeah, man, they laughed at Latif when he wanted to come out and play quarterback, but it's like at the same time, it's like y'all didn't have anybody else. Like, just let him fucking that's, play. Like, hey, he wants to do it. That's a great point. And that they didn't get a like a decent starting quarterback at Foss until 2016 or 17, I think. Holy like, shit. Cause it I'm they weren't I, I feel like that coaching staff just wasn't smart enough to even think about like, oh, what are we gonna do next year? Like thinking about my senior year or Jamal's senior year, yeah, like they were like, okay, like it's eighty percent of our talent is leaving because they're mostly seniors. Like, what's the plan for next year? Like, how do we start like I having our the? How do we even have the uh, fifteen juniors on this team not turn into ten juniors going into seniors and like yeah. get them prepped for the next year? Other than like, see you next year, nigga. Like, yeah, they. I'll tell you that. something like of how things were done differently though. Like, um, because I told y'all know, like I played, um. Well, like Pee Wee football and university places just, just that one year though. But either way, like they um they would like even like people on the team who like weren't inside that school district, they would try to get you to come over there to be in that school district so you were ready to go to the, the high school yep. team. Like they they weren't like playing around with that shit. Like they were trying to make sure they had continuity and like mm-hmm. could keep people on the roster and everything. Man. Like but obviously everybody's I mean, almost spread out. So yeah, there's not like it's not like you know, like uh Northwest Rams, like how they're tied to it's yeah. not Wilson no more, whatever the fuck that school's called. Uh Woodrow. Was it? No, it's Silas. Not Woodrow, uh Dolores, yeah, Silas. Dolores, Silas. Silas. All right. Yeah. yeah, so Northwest Rams, like they're tied to that school, right? So it's like it's easier kind of to get those kids to end up on that team in the future. Foss doesn't really have one of those, but at mm-hmm. the same time, it's like all these people probably are involved in the local football team in some way or form. Like you can definitely work some shit to try to get some kid to come up in, in your program or whatever. Like, I don't know. For sure. I, um, no, that's, a, that's a great point. I feel like I know we were having that conversation when we were in school, just about like, even if you think on like a state level, the mm-hmm. like states that have those really good programs are like, Oh, this one city in Texas, they have one high school. Every mm-hmm. single kid in this city goes to this high school. It's 8,000 people, but they also have the best football team in half yep. the state because they have all the talent. If you think about like how good a lot of the little league teams in Tacoma were, they were going out and beating like the Seattle teams and shit. If you consolidated all that talent at yeah, one, one or school, two yeah, schools, two schools, yeah. two, yeah. two, or, two or three schools even. Yeah, but having f- five schools, yeah. then you got a couple private schools that have teams. Like that's the worst was, part about Tacoma athletics is like they're yeah. we're too spread out. Yeah. It's crazy. Like even if you could, yeah, if you think about it, if you combine like what was Wilson, so Silas and Foss at the time. Mount Tahoma and Lincoln get combined. And those are your two schools. And then, like, stadium gets looped in with yep. the Wilson Foss, or you go to Federal Way. You got two, like, powerhouse schools that are producing a ton of talent instead of having six mid ass teams. Because any- <laughs> Tacoma doesn't have any teams that, like, go to the state championships and do anything because they come from, like, Puyallup, where they have two schools and they pull yep. some areas around them. Or, like, they're really good Seattle schools. They're like, yeah, everybody goes to O'Day because they're going for that purpose. But Tacoma not having that's fucked them over. Same thing in basketball, probably the same thing in track. Like, yeah, really we, like we don't do cuts. Like, depth is always an issue. Like, it's, mm-hmm. <laughs> we can't Wilson. afford to do cuts. <laughs> yeah, if you if you try out for the team, you're making the team. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you a uniform. You'll be over there. <laughs> you're yeah. only to get cut is like bad grades or it's like yeah. in trouble. With I got cut shit. from the baseball team in middle school though. They did that's cuts then. That's kind of funny. Shout out to that. Hey, I you got a, cut. Yeah, I was. We did batting practice and. Uh, I think I, I I swear to God I think Tyler was throwing me the ball, and I fucking dipped to my knee to try to hit this shit. I was trying to crush this fucking ball because we played on a Metro Parks team together. In batting practice, my shit, I used to smoke the fucking ball in batting practice. So I wanted to show out and make this team, and like I just was chasing everything. Terrible, <laughs> you know y'all know, y'all play with the show straight square button like. No. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you feel like, like a, a, a batter kind of guy. I was like, that shit rip. <laughs> that's, that's fucking hilarious. Shout out um, Ryan Howard, who's my favorite player back then. Him and Alfonso. Oh, yeah. Ryan Howard's that deal. Yep. 
right. All right. Uh, you guys want to talk about these contracts real quick? Hold on. I got. I got. I got a. I a guest appearance from our, our boy Jim Ursay. He said, Oh, he Lord. Said about Jonathan Taylor requested the trade. He said, If I die tonight, Jonathan Taylor is out of the league. No one's going to miss us. The league goes on. It doesn't matter who comes and goes. It is a privilege to be a part of it. So, you know, he was off the yerk. He was, he, someone got a quote from him. But like, was that a real that? quote? Oh, I Wait, saw that. What? This is real. This is from NFL and ESPN. Wait, oh, I'm shit. sorry. Can you, can you say the quote again? Because I must have missed some words. He said, If I die tonight and Jonathan Taylor is out of the league, no one is going to miss us. The league goes on. It doesn't matter who comes and goes. It is a privilege to be a part of it. In response to Jonathan Taylor requesting a trade, it's a fucking running back, bro. Just trade him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> he said, if I die tonight and Jonathan Taylor's out of the league, what? What? Didn't Peyton Manning request a trade? Yeah. Or it wasn't this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, it almost it doesn't make any sense because, like, saying that in response to a trade doesn't really. Make, like, are you saying I'm not going to trade him because nobody cares about us? Or are you saying I will trade him because just the league goes on? Like, It makes zero sense. It's a running back that y'all haven't given a payday to yet. And he's, he had a poor year last year. Trade him. What are you doing this for? Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. Power tripping, dude. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, what do you – Jamal, you asked uh, what I thought about or would I make a trade for Jonathan Taylor. Oh, yeah. And you, and you Eckler said in the third Eckler round pick. third. Absolutely the fuck not. Yeah. And really? I say that be I say that because of this. Because given like what we see that like the value on running backs is, giving up a like a running back who's I'm not gonna say just as good as Jonathan Taylor, but is super productive. Like it's not like we're trading our backup for him or something like that. You're trading a super yeah. productive back and a third round pick to a nigga you gotta pay next year. It doesn't really it's, a, it's a Wisconsin back too. You already had one of those. Yeah. Those just run out fast. <laughs> they and it seems like he may have run out because he got hurt last year. Didn't look nearly the same as the year before, and is art in is either hurt in practice or hasn't come back. Well, he's on the pup hurt. list because it's still like coming back from like the the knee ankle shit from last year. Yeah, but so like I think he should get, be back they, and being productive this year. I feel like I think I think he'll be productive. Like I don't think he's yeah. gonna have a year like he had last year. year. Would I give up a, a back who if if Jonathan Taylor is number one? If, and Austin Eckler's number six, giving up the sixth best back and a third round pick, absolutely not. Eckler, yeah, man, do, oh, go ahead. I feel like he's like one of those. Like I feel like, see, like the problem with you guys' teams, like like the running game, and like also Eckler's a good back, but it's like he's a good a back, like guy. the kind of. I feel like you guys need like a like a different kind of back to like help. It's, move it's the yards from scrimmage and, dudes. Like that, that's yeah. Eckler's going to be probably like top four in yards from scrimmage this year. Yeah, yeah but like like we saw like in obviously like in the playoff game, like you guys need like a back to like. For sure. yards inside to do that. Yeah. What if they just sign Zeke though? Like, what if they sign Zeke to do that in the playoffs? Exactly. That yeah. twelve Dalvin carries is still available. Like, what does Zeke have left and, though? That's and the we did we twelve did carries. Draft. What's he got left for twelve carries? Okay, I guess if you split that up with yeah. him and Eckler, then that's cool. But it's not even a like, split. Yeah. It's just like, hey, this this specific kind of run, we're not going to do that for Eckler because Eckler's got to go out to the flats and all these other yeah. shits and like. We're just, then you and, get predictable though. Like, but, but I, I was about so. to say, you, you don't have to take Eckler off the field though. Yeah, you like put him in the spot, especially, especially thinking like of the fact that our number one receiver is a 31 year old dude who is typically hurt, and Mike Williams is typically hurt. So, if you did something like that, it's like, okay, Eckler and Zeke are both on the field in the backfield. We're not sure what's about to happen. It's doable. But yeah, I, I think even just aside from that, it doesn't, he's, I can't imagine a team trading a third, I guess maybe multiple thirds and just that for him, because we, we can see teams don't value running backs. Dalvin Cook and Zeke are still available now. I thought Dalvin went to the Giants. No, the Giants? no, no, I'm not going to the Jets. the Jets. He's meeting yeah. with the Jets. Yeah. Somebody who went to the Giants and they're talking about they snake Saquon. That didn't happen. I was no, no, Saquon got a deal. Uh, no, he the signed this shit. Did. They, they I just think because like up. I can see you guys got like you guys got like a title window, like because Herbert's contract though not one kick. They got no like fucking year, title right? window, bro. They got Pat Mahomes in that division. They don't got no fucking title window. That's a great point. You know what I'm saying, though. But you guys look at here. I hear you. Yeah, yeah. You got Blake, but... Blake is right. <laughs> it's, it's hard to say it's a window. It's a like a thought. We have title thoughts. Yeah, like, but like honestly, because it's like, like if the Chargers went to the AFC Championship, would you be surprised? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would because I feel like as long as we don't got to play the Chiefs, we have an opportunity. But the only way to not play the Chiefs is to win the division. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, if we like, win the division, yeah. that means Patrick Mahomes got hurt, and if Patrick Mahomes got hurt, they're not going to the playoffs. So, 
that Mahomes contract might be the best contract in sports. That's and it looked crazy when he signed it, but that might be the best deal. It looked ridiculous yeah. when he first signed it. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, shit. What up, big dog? I know she can't hear us. <laughs> What's up, Brinley? Hi. She said, right, that's funny. <laughs> wow, we heard her. <laughs> she, she's all like, right. who is these? Just don't let her stop the show, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. Put the headphones on her. Fuck you, fuck nigga. Who am I talking um, to? That's my friend. Okay. Actually, <laughs> while we're talking about football, though. Uh, but actually, no, hold on. Before I move on, I don't think adding think Jonathan talk. Taylor makes any NFL team uh, uh, like a contender. Uh-huh. Like, I don't think it matters as a team. I think it does for you guys, man. If you guys can, like, yeah. get, like, a dope-ass running back that can, like, move if he's, the chains. If he's going like, to give us 1,800 yeah. yards, sure. Yeah. Or, like, between, like, 12 and, like, 16, but, like, it's just, like, the different, like, running style that he has. Like, I feel like that could, like, take you guys, that give you guys, like, what? No. What was your offensive rating last year? Did y'all have, like, a top five offense? Nah, we were 11, I think. Okay, so I feel like that could give you guys, like, a top five offense. Like, that just make everything oh, easy. Right, Possibly. But, uh, Sorry. Oh, she said, come on, us. No, she said, hey, what's this? Oh. Um. Yeah, I, no, I guess your point your point is valid. It has to make you better. I just don't know if it's like how many games does it win you having him instead of Austin Eckler? Yeah, it's just, I yeah, know. I don't know. Because honestly, know. like before the draft, like I remember we talked about it plenty of times. I for sure thought, like, because you know, like nobody likes running backs and shit no more. So I'm like, okay, well, fucking Bijan Robinson is going to fall to like 23 and the Chargers oh. are going to take him. And that offense is now, crazy. Now, we could have got Bijan. Oof. I, hey, I thought I would have bet money that was going to happen until like the I, week of the draft when they were talking like, yeah. oh, Bijan's going top 10. I was like, wait, what the hell? Like, what? Do y'all think it's any way like, because uh, we, we can get back to what's on the list, but anyway, like in our fantasy draft that McCaffrey goes lower than three? Hell no. no. Unless no. he like comes out, he was a he's the next to be a grand wizard or something. He, so if, if, no, I definitely. Bijan and him that are that. in the top three then, right? Yeah, yeah. So who's the other one? one? Uh, Jacobs or uh, or Jacobs? Jacobs, Jacobs is on the play right now. Uh, nah, I could, Jacobs gonna be there, bro. I could kind of see, I could kind of see Eckler being in the top three again because he was three four last year, and he's gonna do all the same shit. I feel like. Do y'all, y'all like McCaffrey over uh, Bijan for fantasy? No, I like, I I like McCaffrey over him. I think I like I, McCaffrey more too, even though Bijan's gonna get hella touches. I'm afraid of McCaffrey getting hurt. Like, and maybe because I'm a former McCaffrey owner, I'm feeling like I can't imagine having him on my team. Because if you take him two and he gets hurt this year, like, that's another season gone. I feel like you can count on a 40 point game from him, though. Whereas, like, I don't know how many other players there are that you can look at that and say it's going to happen. There aren't quarterbacks. Two seasons ago, when I had him and he played six games, it was like every single game was 23 points, but then he missed the rest of the game. So it was like, if he played, I remember my, I started out like, four and two or something like that. And the only two games I lost were the two games he missed. Cause it was like <laughs> when he plays, he's unstoppable. You just yeah. got to pray he plays. And I'm not sure, but it also him, t- if he's at three, if he's available at three and I have the third pick, you probably couldn't convince me to take anybody else. Cause Oh, maybe they're not all in top three. Cause Justin Jefferson's probably three well, in the top three this year. Yeah. Bijan. What the and fuck? You just reminded me. Jamar chase is going to be high. Yeah, Jamar I mean, Chase just, could be four, yeah. three or four. Yeah, I wouldn't hate that. Cooper yeah. Cup, of course, is going to be up there. Uh, uh, yeah. nah, he, he probably did. will be. Yeah, I don't know if he will be, but he probably will be. Because if Stafford's there, bro, they're going to force him the ball. How long is Stafford going to be there? Is Stafford lasting there the whole season? That's true because he's got a – What did he go down with last year? Shoulder or back, right? Something like that. No, it's elbow. Okay. Elbow? Yeah. He probably – you got Tommy John, he might – well, mm, they said that shit for real takes like two years to come back from. I don't know if it was. You can play after one, but they said like it takes like two years until you're you're back where you're supposed to be. No. Um, he's oh, had a lot no, of damage sorry. too. He's not like enough spring chicken. Bro, he's had like two back surgeries before. I feel like. Yeah. He's taking a lot of hits. Them hits over there showing the that goddamn quarterback show. <laughs> like, oh, Kirk Cousins was getting fucking smoked on that show. Yeah. He. Oh, yeah. He had so he had elbow tendonitis in August, and then he had two concussions during the season. Damn. And a, yeah, it's spine. It, so it says NFL concussion, and then uh, two games later, he had a spinal cord contusion. That's what, what? Was, like, you had a bruise something. on your spinal cord. Yeah, so he had bad oh. elbow, and then bad head, and then bad back. Bad head is terrible. <laughs> Hate that. Bad head sucks. <laughs> it's awful. It's not ideal. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. I feel like you're just wasting uh, time. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor is not getting traded for more than two third round picks, I don't think. Uh, I love the Chiefs trade for him, and then it's just like, okay, well, the Chiefs have the best offense ever now. I feel like Ursay is the way – I mean, maybe he's just drunk right now. Who knows? But, like, um, the way he's, he's talking, you might end up just cutting him out of spite. And then, yeah, he could end up on the Chiefs. And now, oh, that would be fire. Hey. McKinnon, Pacheco, and – that would be fire for you? Oh, no, no. I'm talking about if he got cut. I was responding late to oh. if he got cut. Now, if, oh. he goes to, if he goes to the Chiefs, I'm telling you niggas right now, I'm becoming a Chiefs fan. There's no point to choose for the charge at that point. I'm, 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 t- I'm telling you guys right now, I watched that quarterback show, and I'm like, it seems fun over there. Yeah. You and, switched and y'all, know, y'all know what all the nasty shit I've said about niggas who switch teams as adults. <laughs> hey, bro, bro niggas that switch teams are adults are like scum of the earth, bro. Jamal, I mean, I'm, telling you, I'm telling you right now. Blake, yeah. Blake does Europe, there were 17 like 17 different teams. Pedophiles and shit there to me, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is what it is. It Blake, is. Switched, Blake, Blake switched from the Saints to the Broncos, and, nah, and you ain't said Blake nothing ain't about no Broncos, man. Blake ain't no Broncos. No, I man. added them. So, like, the Saints are up here. The Broncos mm-hmm. are, like, right here. All right. When you I, say when that I, until you go into a, Bron- a Broncos game every single season. Uh, I'm only going to go crazy for the Broncos when we're at the game together, and I can just use that against I'm about, We're about to make that trip every year, and you're about to be like, oh, well, I had to buy a jersey because I come to the game at least once. Orange Crush, year. baby. You know what it is. <laughs> it's an orange crush like the soda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they're and the retro uniforms coming back this year. A few teams. Hey, that, those mm-hmm. those white helmets are clean. That was crazy. I, yeah, they, and I'm I'm wishing the that's crazy. I'm wishing the Seahawks had a player I fucked because I like that the blue retro they're doing. That those are nice. Hard. I do like those. Yeah. There's nobody one, up there though. It's yeah. like oh, if it, like Marshawn was still there. I'd probably get his in that. Yeah. That Maybe was like, one like one of my Metcalf. Metcalf. Yeah. He's he's cool, kind of. I guess. Uh, Fuck I like him, that earring. And he's he, dating Normani. I'm disgusted. Yeah, deep ass V's on the shirts, too. I don't know. <laughs> Disgusting. Um, All right, what's next? <sighs> what's bracket? I, I want to talk about the Madden 99 clip. Oh, so I, hey, is I, this the first year uh, Aaron Donald got a Legacy 99? He should this, be a 99. Hold on, does year. this link have the, the 98s? Because that, that's what I want to talk mm-hmm. about. No, I thought it was. It was. I thought it was, but this is the one for twenty. Right, no, you got the database right here, so I'll just scroll down. That's all good. But this is the wrong year. This is for no. I'm, I'm on twenty four. Oh, okay. I must have been. I don't know how the fuck I got to the wrong one. I clicked the link and I'm on twenty four. Mm-hmm. Either way, so um, yeah, Madden put out the ratings. They they actually put out all the ratings, so you can scroll through all this shit. Yeah. Um, Bullshit ass ratings. No, you said you said Donald's not a ninety nine. He's a ninety nine. No, about? he shouldn't be a ninety nine. You think so? Yeah, he he's not the best D tackle in the league no more. I last year was the first year that you could argue that yo Chris Jones was better than him. I saw these uh these crazy stats about Chris Jones. He played more snaps and had more pressures by like a large margin than any other D tackle in the league this year. They said Aaron Donald's probably like maybe the third best D tackle because Quentin Williams took like a big leap this year too. That's why he just got catched up. All right, because so Chris Jones easy. right now he's holding out, and they're saying like they don't if he holds out. That defense goes to shit because he's like their best pass rusher and like an elite like run defender too. All right, well, I mean, like a ninety-six. Yeah. So you know, it's, it's a politics here. I, Chris Jones in ninety-eight. But when Aaron Jones played, or not Aaron Chris Jones, Jones, when Aaron Donald was playing the game, like he was, he, he was, was good. He was still it, effective. He just didn't yeah, play all the games. He still and part great. of him was he's like a ninety-seven. I feel like I don't think he was like you know like he was like faking. He could well, do everything. I'm saying, but like what if? What if we're splitting hairs here between two players who are actually are 99s? But it's yeah. like, yeah, the one guy had the had the clearly better year, but it's like you can't go put him at 103. Oh, no, hey, you I know what I'm saying? It could, it could be that. Yeah. I'm saying I think this might have been a legacy 99. Ooh. He might be like a yeah, 90. Like Aaron Donald, is, Aaron Donald is six games this year. Like he shut it down halfway through the season because they stunk. Like yeah. I feel like it's hard. I and when he played, he looked like a ninety nine. They were just that team is awful right now. Bro, he's he's got eighty one speed. Like he didn't do he didn't do anything last year that made me feel like oh this thing is kind of falling off. Like he's getting cooked now. He's I feel like, like the Rams oh, the organization shut it down last year. That's what yeah. that was. Like he just didn't play, so I wouldn't feel comfortable taking off the ninety nine. That being said, the fact that like uh, Miles Garrett was a ninety nine last year had a better he's season a than he now. did the year before and is a ninety eight now. That makes less sense than Aaron Donald being a 99. So here's, here's the 99s. We got Aaron Donald, Justin Jefferson, Pat Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Zach Martin. That's the 99 club. Um, and I just wanted to ask, like, because, like, Trent Williams, like, what does he have to do to be a 99? Well, he was Not a 99 being, last uh, year, right? Maybe when they lose playoff games, be sucker bunch of people. 
I wouldn't take that nigga to his face. Uh, not, I wouldn't expect you to. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, either way, he's a 98. Nick Bosa's a 98. Miles mm-hmm. Garrison's a 98. And Tyreek Hill's a 98. And like, if Which, all, all of those players, like, I look at them and it's like, oh, Lane Johnson's also 98. It's like, I don't know where the room for improvement is. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah, that, that I don't like that they cap it at like, we can only have a certain number of 99s. Cause is that what they point, did? Trent Williams was a 99 last year. He didn't get oh. worse. They just take, they only have like five, four or five 99s, and typically they'll add one during the season. But it's like, Trent Williams will be a 99 by week. Tyreek Hill had the best season of his career last year, basically on a new team, and it's still just a 98. Doesn't really make sense. Trent, Trent Williams got worse. Miles Garrett got worse, even though they both had like some of the best years of their career. So they just like have a cap for no reason. It's the whole reason the awareness rating is in the game, bro. I swear. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because that's how they that's how they do this shit. Because I'm sure, yeah. Because all of the 99 overall players have 99 awareness. Pat Mahomes yeah. has 98 because which is insane. You, you know, Pat Mahomes, the player that has a whole new animation where he can detect the pressure is about to come and he can throw the ball laying sideways has 98 awareness instead of 99. It'd be a 99 if he knew where his brother was at that that fateful night. You know, oh God, you know where he's at now. He's, he's keeping. He got the air tag on him. You know where he's at. That's crazy. That's insane. Uh, but wait, you said you want to go through the some of the ratings still. Like, you want to look at the? No, that was it. I just thought like the ninety eight was a little crazy. Like, because the guys yeah. that are in there, it's like, bro, I don't like know what the hell they could do better. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. Like Jamal, Chris Jones is worse than Micah Parsons and Jalen Ramsey. Would you? If you think he's the best D tackle and better than Aaron Donald, you think he's better than those two players? Chris Jones better than Jalen Ramsey. I don't think Jalen Ramsey is the best corner in the league right now. I would agree, and he's a 97. Yeah. You think he's better than Michael Parsons? Probably not, no. Okay. Michael Parsons is a fucking freak of nature. He has 92 speed. That's ridiculous. That's so that's, bullshit. He be watching those workout fun. videos. Like he be doing like know. agility drills with like fucking Jamar Chase and other running backs. Like he be like beating them in races and shit sometimes. That shit yeah. don't make no sense. You're not throwing any screen passes on the Cowboys, and man, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, that shit's ridiculous. That's just that's just gone. <laughs> My house that. Yeah, and like hey. I think this is the first year that Zach Martin made 99, which is kind of surprising. I feel like he's only made all pro since they drafted him. Mm-hmm. Stephon Diggs in '96. Well. Yeah. Little juice, little juice. I do feel like AJ Brown should be higher. Yeah, AJ Brown was fucking nice last year. AJ Brown, was unstoppable. I'm so glad he's out of our division. AJ, shout Brown. out Derwin, 95. Okay, yeah, I was looking. He was a. I think I sw- I'm pretty sure Derwin was a fucking 88 last year to start the season, and he wasn't that much better last year. I mean, he was not good because he obviously played, but you see, the leap doesn't Small, make sense. Highest Jaguar. Who do you think? Uh. And Trevor's an 82. I'll tell you Bullshit. that. Bullshit. He should be like an 84, 85. Uh, oh, who is our highest you have, a, you have a four-way tie, actually. So you have four chances to get this right. Uh, wow. All right, hold on. Let me think. Is, Ty, is Tyson Kim? He's like an 84, I think. It's one of the four. Yeah. You want to try to name them all? Yeah. Tyson Campbell. Uh, Josh Allen. One, two. Tyson yeah, two Campbell, Josh Allen, Foye Aluwakun. No, he's not oh. on this first page. He's in the seventies. Oh, no, no, he's a, he's eighty four. He's eighty four. My fault. Okay, I was gonna say that right. like, he's led the league of tackles the last two years. I don't uh, shit. That's all good. Foye, Tyson Campbell. Is it a defender? No, 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 no. It's Christian got- Kirk. Christian Kirk. Right. Yeah, the other, the other yeah. one's offense too. Yeah. Uh, Christian Kirk and Evan Did Ingram, maybe. Or Calvin. Really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> was that, I'm surprised you didn't say that one first. The gambling man. Oh, that's my nigga. Oh yeah, I gotta get that jersey. You already know the highest jersey. player from the Chargers, right, Tyro? Uh, I could probably. I haven't looked, but I can guess. Um, I know obviously Derwin because he's 95. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I probably. I don't know Joey. if there's a tie. I'll look though. Probably Joey and Austin are probably right after. I think Lindsley might be high. That y'all center, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got. I'd say Derwin, Joey, Austin. It's a four point gap from Derwin to Joey. Herbert. Yo, because people were talking about that on uh, Madden. It's like, yo, how was uh, Joey Bosa overall higher than uh, Hassan Reddick when he had way more sacks than him? Yeah. You got to do more than one year. Joey was hurt, though. Hassan Reddick was good the year before, too, though. Joey was hurt most of the year, though. So it's kind of the same thing with Aaron Donald. Yeah. I'm trying to, uh, I think it's white privilege, but, you know, we'll stop on my narrative. Holy shit. Look at the Saints. Aaron Pride. Who do y'all think the highest rated player is on the Saints? On the Saints? 
Yep. I know they, uh, they dropped is, the line. Is that Demario Davis? Is Demario Davis no. or Cameron Jordan? Demario Davis is number two. Cameron yeah, Jordan is number in. five. Oh, is, is, is it Ramchick, maybe? Lyman? He's number four. Kamara? Is it a lineman? Um, it's not a lineman, no. And it's not Kamara. Kamara oh, Marshawn. Oh, Marshawn. 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 He's number three. Damn. Who's, who's your best player? You better not <laughs> say Michael Thomas. If not somebody I think people associate with the Saints, because we weren't good last year. But it's he came to the team last it's year. It's not Jamal Williams. Oh, he came over last year? Mm-hmm. Tyron Tyr- Tyr- Matthew? Yep. 91. Oh, wow. Okay. And what You said 81? 91. Oh, okay. Not, oh, holy okay. shit. Excuse me. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm trying. To. We are not that bad. I, no, I, that's why I was like, wait a goddamn minute. Shout out to okay. team for quarterback from page two, though. Hey, we here. Oh, Who's it. here? Just me. Excuse me? Oh, Just you're talking me. about page two of your team. I thought you meant the overall ones. Okay, never mind. No, yeah, that's page two me. of your teams of like players. <laughs> it's like Derek Carr's and not three. What the fuck? Hey, uh, this just reminded me though. I gotta tell y'all something, man. So I went up? golfing today, right? Okay. And look, I got <laughs> The 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 military is like it's it's beautiful just like sports are where it brings people from like all over to the same spot together and you just kind of mesh and figure shit out and like figure out who you like who you don't like. So dude, one of the dudes on my foursome, um, white dude, he's from Mississippi, but um, oh boy, <laughs> right? But hold on though, <laughs> but hold on though, we're um going down the front nine. He's playing music off his phone, bro. We are listening to uh. Why be money bag? And then he's like, um, tell me about shit that he was into back in the day. And he's like, bro, you never listened to Savage Life? So holes like six through 13, we're listening to Webby. <laughs> and he's rapping this shit nonstop. He didn't, he didn't say another problematic shit. And he was drinking too. So I know if like he was saying that shit like in his own time, yeah, he probably would have came out then. So like, he kept it thorough. Yeah, it's but, kind of fire. Um, I'm so I'm saying, I was like, yo, it's a drill yeah. individual. But I've actually played 2K with him in the past. Uh, he's like, he's one of uh, Bree's like friends, co workers, or whatever. So, um, I don't know. That shit was just dope to me. I was like, this is a cool dude, man. Like, but that's either way. Is he from out there or is he just visiting you or something? No, he he, he works here. Um, oh, okay. But he's from Mississippi. And that's hella funny. <laughs> I was asking him, like, because there's no army bases in Mississippi. I was like, how'd you choose to join the army or whatever? Um, because normally you'd go like Navy or um Air Force if you're coming from Mississippi. He was like, uh, well, I was in jail and I just had to make a choice. I got it. Got Say it. less. Okay. And he grew up in Mississippi, and if you're poor in Mississippi, you're probably well, everybody, but kicking it with niggas every once in a while. Uh yeah, if you're yeah, he's from the city, so I don't really think it was it probably was like the only white kid out of school type of thing. Yeah. That's hella funny. Yeah. Cool dude though, man. That was a good time. That's Played tight. terrible today, but it's just fun. <laughs> what would you shoot? We don't, bro. That's why I, asked, I was surprised you were keeping score. I don't keep oh, okay. score. The fuck? I, how, am I best I, ball. how am I know if I'm getting better? Well, we did teams of two and best ball, so it's like at that oh, point, okay. it's like, okay. yeah, you put like a couple good shots together and then you just work on shit like that. But gotcha. keeping score ain't really. Oh, golf, Tyrell, so what? This guy. What did you say, Jamal? That's the old golf elitist ass. Look at you. That's- I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not elite shit. Yeah, keep his work. I'm going to make you mad, bro. Yeah. I feel like I need something to figure to, to keep progress. Just focus. No, just chain good shots together. That's it. Just like if you can combo good shots, like yeah. then it, once be, you start to do that consistently, then you start keeping score. But yeah, I'd be point, comboing, like, I be point. comboing some good shots as long as it's not with my driver. Nigga, I can drive like hit my seven farther than I hit my damn driver. That shit. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but. I, uh, I, Close I, your club face and put it like line it up with your front foot. I don't know. That's the best advice I can give you. It don't work every time for me either. Yeah. Driver's cursed. <laughs> hey, and depending who you talk to, one nigga will say what you said. They'll be like, okay, go ahead and open it up. Put it right behind your back. Just let it fly, baby. Just let it, just let it fly. What do, you, what do you want me to do, bitch? Have you doing the cash from the Goofy movie? Just catch your fist. <laughs> a one, a two. <laughs> All right. Um, what y'all want to talk about before we get into the uh, the 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 NFL preview? What we Can I? I mean, so this Mbappe thing is moving around a bit because I now they're talking about it's worth like three hundred thirty million dollars or whatever. But initially, it was like three quarters of a billion dollars. Yeah, exactly. 
But either way, like the, the craziest part to me of this whole entire thing still is that he he, he told them no. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me? You got to really be be big on the anti-Saudi Arabia propaganda if you're like... Because, th- yeah, they it, they said it's like he was for sure make $200 million, but could make 700 based on this, that, and the third, or like through ads and shit like that. Either way, you're saying no for a year? And this is like the thing that always puzzles me with this shit, because like the only people that are going to be mad at you about it is Twitter. But in reality, like Saudi Arabia, like they do business with all these these people you probably already do business with. Like yeah, of Nike's big over there. Like if you were like into like luxury watches and shit like that, like they all that shit's over there too. It's like because they got fucking money and these companies don't care. So P- PSG has for sure taken some money from the Saudis at some point for some reason. He wants to go to Real Madrid. I'm sure they've gotten a couple dollars from somebody from Saudi Arabia. For, there like, ain't no way around it at this point. Yeah, like Real Madrid's way too big of a club to not have ever gotten no type of money or some dude that's like one tenth of an owner or some type of shit like that is putting some money into it. The real life Arasaka. Shout out Cyberpunk, man. Yeah. She coming next month. Bro. <laughs> Yeah, I need to I need to start my next playthrough. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, turning down anything that was rumored to be a billion dollars for a year. But hey, Man, that's crazy. It's, it's not I my mean, all of this is one year too. Yeah. And you know, you can half ass it. You don't even got to go over there and really ball out like that. You can go Cristiano there on the bench it. over there. They call him Benciano. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have played over there so fast. Oh my god. Got me fucked up. Oh yeah. my god. How many games? 20 games? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's, they're saying it's like, yeah, you're there for a year, but you're really there for a season, which is like going to college for basketball. Like, I'm here yeah. for months. Like, okay, you willing to pay me, even if it wasn't a billion, you're willing to pay me $200 million for four months of work? So y'all y'all will not see me at the MLK Day celebration. I won't be here anymore. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, that's absurd. Anyway. Meanwhile, J- Jalen Brown uh, can't dribble with my left hand or between my legs. Got three hundred million dollars. Signed the whole contract. The three hundred three, three hundred and four million dollars. So they said twenty four twenty five. So not this upcoming season, but next season, fifty two million dollars. He's got to cap it for sixty five on the end of that. I think something like that. Six, sixty nine. Nice. In 2028, Nah, talk about it, Jamal. What else is going on here? Seventy nah, million dollars. Shout out to a dark skinned brother getting that check. People oh. talking about, oh, Jason Tatum got a max. Nah, shout out to the black man that looks like us on this podcast with the dark brown skin getting that back from the white man city, Boston. Let me ask you a question though: Do you think he plays all the years on this contract in Boston? I don't care. No. He's getting it. Get that money, black that's, man. That's from Atlanta. Analysis, that's all. Salute. You you sounded very lusty talking about that man getting the check. I'm just gonna throw that out. I just, hey, chill out. I don't know why you're trying to create this narrative. You trying <laughs> to let me ask you here pro, ask you a protocol question. If you let's say like Jalen Brown is from Atlanta, let's say uh when we're down oh, there no. next year for our fantasy football draft and we're in Magic oh, City no. or whatever, um, because I don't know why we'd be in there, but they got wings, but so that might be one in there. Either way, yeah. Jalen Brown's in there, he throws a stack of money, and let's say a good Fifty hundred might slap you in the face. What do you? What's what do you do then? You let it. You, you grab it. You let it fly. Are we, like, are we jumping him? I'm asking. No, you, I'm, I'm asking. I'm, what do you do? Like, like he slaps me with fifteen hundred. No, no. He's he's throwing them to the stage. But you know, it's like it's money. It's not paper. Oh, airplane, like so me? the shit just. Nah, mm-hmm. you, I I heard uh you get like niggas like picking up other people's money in there. I heard them niggas get like stomped out by security. <laughs> what if you okay? So if you catch it before it's the floor. Is it still good? You think so or no? Well, that's kind of nasty, bro. Because like some some niggas gonna point you out and have you on TikTok. Like this nigga's oh he's picking up the money for the bitches. And you don't want to be that guy. So if it's not in Atlanta City or not in Atlanta City, Magic City, but it's just in like a club where they're that not shit that out here. I do it, but like nah, we can't be in like no super black city doing that because like ain't nothing worse than your own people clowning you, and making you look bad and feeling embarrassed. <laughs> You can't That's even true. use racism. He's looking around That's like, God true. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> nah, they call me a lame ass nigga, and 300 people said it, so I must yeah. be a lame ass. Nigga. They used the ER, but everybody was black, so I couldn't. Yeah. Like, damn. <laughs> wow, this hurts. Hurts more than anything. It cut deep. <laughs> you don't want to be that guy. So You're nah. banned from Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> Do not come inside 285, this man right yeah. here. Yeah, they, they take Young Thug off your fucking uh, iPhone forever. Oh, no. Everybody's calling you the F word. Not, not <laughs> fun. Fact. 
Oh yeah. well. <laughs> nah, Maybe not out there because I, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think they say that out there. There's the security people. might be some of them. Nah, they might the security be saying it. it. The security is them. The security might yeah. be saying it. Like, man, yeah. you're too cute to be doing this. What the fuck you doing? <laughs> you can stomp that by. Nah, nah. Shout to the community. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's the name of this episode. <laughs> Shout out the community. Hey, that's what. Yeah, that's what. Hey, man, free thug, man. Free thug, oh, man. The community. Those barrel south, man. This shit still slap. Shout out that. Look, we talking about. Um, I usually don't fuck when they come back and mess with the the album after they already put it out. Yeah, uh, deluxe versions is one thing, but like reordering tracklist and shit like that. Oh no, uh, yeah, not for me. But the thug album. <laughs> It, it benefited. That was it. That did was, it? Did make yeah. it better? Um, and Travis Scott, take notes. You should do the same shit, but like, it's just, you need help. Put them six somewhere else. <laughs> what do y'all? So you just take the first six, and then it gets better. The first six for the Travis Scott album is trash. Go listen to that shit and fucking Brass Plum and Nordstrom. Like you got it. Like <laughs> play that shit. I was I wasn't super excited to listen to the album to begin with, and the fact that you said that I haven't played it yet. Because you said the first six was trash. I don't got that much time to waste before we did the show. Seven to nineteen, you're gonna have fun though. Seven to seven I, is the Drake track. That's where it starts. But That's I gotta cool. li- because you said the first six are trash, I gotta listen to them so I can agree or you're gonna be like, what do I do with these? <laughs> yeah, it's like what wow. Blake said. It was like Blake, didn't you say you felt like you were trapped in the HM? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like no, this is like this, yeah. It's, it's like it's not that this music is bad, but this does not fit anything that I do in my life. Like I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's oh, kind of yeah, If this okay. shit's on in the background somewhere else, like I'm not gonna tell them to switch. But like, if bro, it had me thinking gonna... like, yo, am I an old nigga? Like, yo, I don't like none of this. Is like, this what this, the kids are into? This got to ask. And then I went back and listened to Astro where I'm like, okay, now nah, this shit was hard. It's like, mm-hmm. now nah, this new <laughs> shit just my stink. You got some knocks on there though. I'm telling you, it's just you yeah, first six for knowledge. Dog, that thug feature, thug floated on that feature on there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Like when we was right well, two weeks ago or last week, whatever. We said Travis was definitely planning to kill the people at the pyramid because the first six is like, <laughs> <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> ain't no fucking way you thought they were gonna open your album, Mike. Just have the Black Adam shit. scenes, the, the flashback scenes of Black Adam. Yeah, man, oh, he's about to do some shit out there. <laughs> Dog, that was for bad. that was not for Emotep and Knox to the Moon, man. That was for <laughs> Jesus about to do some shit. <laughs> but so, okay, so what what are you guys rating this album now that you both listened to it a few times? Like with you the first six, with oh, you've only listened to it once. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, oh. I give I'm, I'm give it like two listens. Okay, so three. Listens okay, so two so what's your rating with the first six included? Out of Dude, ten. Oh it's boy, like five maybe. Five or okay. four. I'll take that. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, and if you and if you exclude the first six, what is it? Seven. I don't even think so. It's, it might so be like a six then to me. It's uh, still kind of just like whatever. Like it's better. Seven it's point zero. Yeah. <laughs> exactly a seven. Yeah. I'd give you a six point nine if that wasn't a good number. Mm. Yeah, I feel like he tried to do something different with the production. And I'm like not like I feel like he has like an ear for beats. And then I'm like, I feel like the music it sounds like, like live stadium music. Like it's supposed, to, like you're supposed to be there, be performed, but it don't oh. sound good. Because yeah. he, like, yeah, oh. like I said, oh. seven through nineteen is better, but there is still some shit mixed into that that um is not that. Um, and I think he got a good song with Beyonce on there. Um, yeah, I, that's I cool. Think I, I oh wow, this shit. Um, I, think, I hate so that I, these albums be telling you who the features are. Yeah, I hate like, his. Bro, doesn't either. I'm, I'm not a fan of that shit. Asshole. So I saved I saved four songs from this album. Damn, you got a nineteen. That's an F. <laughs> yeah, you said, that, a seven. That, you said a seven. That, that does seven sound like an F. I'm like <laughs> <"Gee it> over here. <laughs> Nigga, like twenty eight percent of the album. All right, so it's, <laughs> yeah, it's probably no, they, no. He liked what ten? Yeah, ten percent, thirteen percent. Well, because I'm gonna tell you though, I think after track seven, because all the ones that I saved, I think they're in a row. Like things you know, just started being so solid. I was oh, like, I don't need to okay. save these anymore. This, <laughs> I just realized the first six are fucked up. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I was say I thought you were like, I like this little run. I'm That's how that. I was at first, but I was like, okay, no, this is a completely different album at this point. So okay. I just know not to start this at one through six. Yeah, no, nah, that shit was kind of boof though. I'm you need to listen to the Tyrell. I want to honestly like hear hear what you think nah, about the first six. I, I do you listen to, to listen to it tomorrow. next week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How about next week? Did you guys listen to uh the Ice Spice no. uh, project? No. I was just looking for new videos actually. That's crazy. She got the Delhi video that just came out. I heard, so I heard. 
Oh, she was she shaking her ass on a deli top. Uh, she's wearing a pink bottom, I think it was. So I heard. Peace. Okay. I'll say this: we're not the target audience, and that's okay. But even still, just as like a, a music huh? listener, she's kind of in that uh, you know, the New York drill lane, but from like a woman's perspective. Like uh, a lot of the songs sound oh. samey. There might be like nine or ten tracks on the album. Eight of them sound the fucking same. It's just and, a reload, uh, though, ain't it? It's just a deluxe of the deluxe of the album. Is it? I don't know. Well, I must have didn't hear the, the 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 album originally then, but I heard this. Oh, oh. And I'm like, damn, nigga, there's three the songs rack. on this whole album. Yeah, but yeah, it's spice rack members. What up? I'm wondering, like, if the uh, you think you got? I wonder if she'll be around next year because she's definitely got to do better with her music because a lot of the songs sound the same. And then somebody pointed out, like, like, like some. Like how she starts off her songs and like lyrics and some of them, it's a lot of the same shit. So I wonder if like is some of this shit sticking? Like is she gonna have to like chase no, like well, go like the feature route, like kind of like Cardi B. That's what I'm saying. Bit? You got to think Cardi's the model now for, yeah, for yeah. what what that is, and that model doesn't need albums. That model does singles and features. It's probably preferred without albums. But yeah. Car- Cardi B having hard ass features, it's like damn. Sure. And I, I mean, she had one with Taylor Swift that one. If that ain't our, that ain't our shit. But I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I suppose know. her features have been decent. Yeah, like Pink Panthers. Yeah, like uh, Nicki Minaj, the Princess Diana shit. Like she's she's been solid on the feature route. Koyla Ray needs to figure out that she needs to stop making albums and start making features. Yeah, and like she like got- I said, this is a reload for somebody who like who knows how old these fucking tracks are. Like, also true. Probably around. It the might same just time. be that. She's- yeah, it's I don't know. It might just be that drill shit, man. Like a lot of those beats kind of sound like the same, hella similar, you know, like the New York drill shit. So it's kind of like, damn, this is hella repetitive, and that could just be it for me, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, her on that Definitely "Boys of Liars" song where it isn't that type of beat, she doesn't sound the same as she does on all of her like, yeah, all of she her songs that sound exactly the same. He was like, oh, it's my shit. That's that Pink Panthers chick, right? Yes. That, that, yeah, they say she I be dressing see- like she uh. I got an original Disney show. Doug, her fits. It. I went to her Instagram and I, so I'm thinking it's like, oh, okay, this is probably like a fit here and a fit there. Her whole swag is like dressing like she's in 2007. Yeah, she dressed like Raven Simone in 04. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. The like the spaghetti halter top with like a shirt underneath. Like, what are you doing, Doug? Was yeah, y'all Raven fucking with with uh, Drake's little UK freestyle? Uh, I didn't listen to that shit. Nah. Kind of. He's, I'm trying to be under your breast like peas and rice. <laughs> All right, hey, man. Uh, that's fuck fucking man. hard. <laughs> fuck up, All right, what's next, man? What we got next? Right, hey, speaking of on. speaking of Blake, <laughs> after I watched that awful Cassidy freestyle or that one bar this week, because the song be stuck in my head, the uh, Central City joint, the How Can I Be Homophobic? My bitch my is bitch gay. Is gay. Yep. I download that shit. It do slap in the car. Cause it got a baseline that I don't be expecting to hear. So are you gonna play the Davis Interesty Project then? No. <laughs> you niggas I listen to Dave. You listen to London I, I've now. listened to Dave, and I'm like, Blake said this is the greatest album of all time, and I don't like a single song. Top four. Now niggas like that's crazy. Don't you say now niggas song. like I said I like one song. I've downloaded a couple UK songs. Nah, I'm just I saying be, like I be he's switching up on you. Can can we give it to? Uh... Niggas need to pay homage to SAS, man. That's Stop, bitch. I'm, <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm about to get off this thing. That's all I'm saying, man. Best thing to ever come out to the UK, bro, is SAS. Ask SAS how they feel about modern rap from the nah, UK today, Ask man. them how nah, they feel about them. Rap, they popped up. Hey, uh, episode they, 113 is featuring SAS. It's coming. Hey, <laughs> they just did some wild freaky shit at this boxing match. I'll find their number on Google right now. Hey, he just hit this nigga in the gut. He bent, he turned around and bent over backwards, like put his hands on the ground, but kept his feet flat. And oh, then said, the nigga came up behind him and like, and like punched him in the rib. Hello, I don't know why they just did that. They punched uh, him in the gooch. Nah, I need them to put the black air force niggas on this immediately. This is crazy. Yeah. Nah, yeah, shout out to SAS though. I'm gonna find them right now, bro. They say we actually ghetto because we packed the middle. Yeah, we kings royaled up like Sacramento. Come on, my nigga. The niggas had the bars. That was a Yo, good if bar. If you'll give that a chance, why won't you <laughs> fuck with that? I'm not like, gonna, I'm not like, y'all gonna have me out on here because I'll, I'll, I'll start crying and shit again. You're about to start speaking in an accent. You didn't yeah. buy that Top Boy beanie until you listen to them niggas. That's crazy. I can't yeah. wait for that show to come back. 
the, yeah, how much y'all don't fuck with this shit is, is pissing me off because I'm like, I I know my dudes got ears, man. There ain't no way, but y'all just, y'all just come back with mushy pea jokes and fucking malted barley Yo, and shit. I'm like, them niggas be eating uh, they eat like barbecue baked beans on toast. Like, how do white people eat? Y'all making fun of your brethren? They from the soil. Nah, we making fun of all the people. They, they, they from niggas, Benin they, City in Nigeria. They, nah, this is trenches. Hell though, like dog on that show. I was yo, they they be running down on niggas. And you fuck with Top Boy? Just give me a, that show. Even, hard. Listen, if to I, the if I hear them say C nigga project. in a song, I'm about to lose my mind. Like, Central C doesn't say, and I'm not sure what Central C is. I'm confused. He, he, I don't just. He looks like Logic, but he's from the trenches. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on over there. I've seen him with his hair long too, and the shit gets even more confusing. Like it's. And he looks like baby. He's Tron. the same shit Baby Tron is. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, no, I, I like the dude. The baby same Tron dude. is hard. I don't care. Baby Tron's tough. <laughs> that nigga be the, the British nigga Saint. I like that one uh, five song EP he put out three oh, years ago. That is, I didn't know. Darius posted him uh, in one of our chats. That we're we in. found out Baby Tron's fucking Mexican and Colombian. I think he is Mexican. And, no, like, no, I Baby Tron really said he's just that. white and black. And he said people oh, think okay. I'm all this type of shit, but like, no, this is uh, it. I'm just white and black. Nah, he, he's telling a lot. <laughs> he got a crazy ass mix. I think, yeah, maybe like whatever one of his parents isn't all the way what they, yeah. like, they think they yeah. are. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Cause he got like he got like uh he got bone thugs here, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah. He don't ever do that with. Yeah, he looks like a uh, damn. He looks good with his hair. Oh, some racist. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna just keep that in the pocket. But it is what it is. Now mm-hmm. shout out to Baby Tron though. Shitty boy, the biracial spitter. There that go. sounds crazy. Actually, never mind. Take that back. Oh, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Hey, no, shout out to Mason Cam for not playing pause at all when Ice Cube was on. Oh, yeah, they knew better. <laughs> Ice Cube said some shit, too. I was like, oh, y'all not gonna... all right. They, <laughs> said, they, they say pause to him, they gotta explain it. <laughs> like, he got he gotta <laughs> ask again, like, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> pause me. I'm a grown ass. He's like, I'm not playing that gay shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 55. That's exactly how that would go. Hey, Ice Cube has taken a turn though. His this press run has showed me a side of Ice Cube. I didn't think I'd ever see. He's going he's everywhere. Going, yeah, he, he's going. He, he's going everywhere and saying anything. No, but like that's what he said on on the um. I watched. I watched the one with him and uh, when he's on Dub C show. But he's like, yo, I'm a grown ass fucking man. Can nobody tell me where I can and can't go? Who I can and can't talk to? If you want to try to, and it's gonna get bad for you. I'm like, I believe you. Like. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, he's one of the ones. He is one of the ones. Just, like, nah. Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's, he's I just got to be like 50, early 50s, mid 50s. He's mm-hmm. this generation's, uh, he's probably close to 60s, then 50. Uh, he's this generation's Jim Brown. Where he's like, look, I'm going to do a lot of shit you niggas don't like, but what are you going to do about it? Yep. Nothing. I'm about it all the way where the fuck I'm not going to draw lines about who can who can help and who can't help. Like, I'm he's 54. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they definitely didn't pause him. Dog, my dad be saying like, "Hey, yo, I guess my dad just started watching. Like, he started finding some of those clips because he, my dad just randomly like calls me and like, "Hey, man, you know what I started listening to the other day?" And he'll just say somebody like I heard of like years ago. Like he called me this week, like, "Hey, man, I started." Uh, I started listening to Kevin Gates. Yeah, I started listening to uh, Larry Jew. Man, you heard of this guy before? Like, nah, man, who's that? I'll be playing around with him sometime. But yeah, pause. <laughs> this future but, guy is all right. You got any yeah. more shit? Nah, I think the last thing I got him listen to, I got him listen to I Swear Vez on ESTG not too long ago. Oh shit! I, I, yeah, he used to be like listening to some of the shit. He'll tell me like, "Yo, I I can't listen to some of this. Some of this stuff sucks, but some of this stuff be pretty good." But yeah, he likes Larry June. It's just like nice and smooth. It kind of reminds him. He's like it reminds me of like Dom Kennedy a little bit. And then, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, my so dad be saying like, "Hey, me and your dad, dad got a lot in common. Like, That's crazy." Nah, because I was talking to my dad. I was like, "Man, what do you think about?" I, got? I was like, "Yo, like no homo, like yo." I'm, I told him right. I want to get I want to get my mom and like my sister's name tatted on me eventually. He was like, oh yeah, you should. I'm like, yeah, I want to get your name too, like on my neck or something. He's like, man, hey yo, man, come on. Baby. He said on my neck. What you talking about, bro? Hey, get, getting your just, daddy's name on your neck is fucking crazy. Yeah, nah, I told him that. I'm like, what should I get on like my nipple or something? Then? And then he was like, all right, man, I'm getting out of here. I'm hanging up. Right now. <laughs> yeah. But now nah, he was saying like pause and hey yo and stuff now. Uh, I was I mean, on my it's... dad's boat this last weekend, and um, his playlist went from. Um, What's the Mary J song where she's like, "Ain't it too strong for too long, and I can't oh. leave without you, baby." Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Whatever that that song, that shit came on the last time I was on the boat too. 
So that's that's on his permanent place for that. But then it went straight to uh, Cardi B money. Wow. It was like some city girl shit. Um, Damn, all the, okay. the extra ass shaking thought music, and I'm, I'm holding my daughter like <laughs> hold the friendly on the book. <laughs> She's having the time of her life for this. It's I want to like, know how your dad stumbled upon that because, like, he's to, at the age where, like, all the kids are out the house and not like playing music around him. And look, I had to get TikTok. on him too because he was playing either Spotify or Pandora, and an ad came. I'm like, bro, ain't no oh, way no. you live on a fucking lake and have a boat and be listening to ads right now. Nah, being on a boat and listening to ads is crazy. Yeah, I'm like, this is, he's out. On. He's out there fishing, being all peaceful, yeah. and it's like, oh shit, uh, Pandora jewelry is talking to me right now. Yeah, it was like a Vaisalis ad, too, like uh, for yeast infections. I was like, bro, what the fuck? You are 60 years old, sir. Pay for the shit. That's funny. You sir. got it. If you listen to the Jim Ross podcast, use code goddamn it, Michael, to get 25% <laughs> off of Blue Chew. That type of month. shit. Nigga, did you guys see the Blue Chew shoes? Excuse me? What? Blue Chew, Blue Chew is giving away a pair of custom uh, ones. Like, like Jordan mid- ones? Yes, like Jordan ones, mid Are they made top for performance, ones. and they have it says Blue Chew on the side, and on the like back, like uh, upper, t- like I don't know what the fuck that's called. Uh, back not Rico Strong wins this because he's gonna wear them during the scene. That's it crazy. says just do it or uh, love it and just do it or something like that. Just chew it. Ooh, that's what they should have put on. I it have to keep them on if I want. It says it says chew it and just do it. That's what it is. Y'all keep them on, right? If you if you won. Like one time. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta fuck with the shoes on. <laughs> when else? When else would I wear them? I'm not. They also say blue chew on the side. They're oh my silver, God. white. My feet up on the fucking wall. Blue. Just like, all right. Mm. Oh, hey man. Hey, nigga. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, all right. How and why would your feet be on the wall? Way to the hill. You feel me? Like if you like Supermaned out, but like, yeah. Like, you, anyway, you arm bro, hold you up. No, all right. My fault. Oh man, I got fucking uh, I got killed the other day because uh, I I was I was talking about porn. It was I recorded something with uh, I was recording with Larry, Donnie, and Josh. Shout out to them. But uh, cause I was talking about uh, I told my I, I think I told you guys it's like how how late I was to knowing that like the bang bus was like real or fake. I mean, mm-hmm. I told I told y'all that I thought that was like that was like one of my biggest fears growing up. I just get I'm walking the streets of Miami and they pull up on me and hey, you want to get in the bus? You I'm got Rachel four. Star back here or. Lacey Duval or something like that, and then I get in the bus and I just can't perform because I'm nervous. But because I, I thought it was real, but I told him like, "Yeah, man, you get up there, and, like you see, like after you know, you watch the scenes and stuff. You know, we've watched it for years now. Then you see like these ain't they they ain't just pulling up on like random niggas. Like this ain't no random. This ain't no random construction where I just got off. Like you start seeing like you start seeing guys you've seen from other stuff. Like bro, that's Charlie Mac <laughs> or fucking that's Prince that Joshua. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, like that." I know, uh, yeah, I know Prince Joshua ain't working at Home Depot, but it was like, yeah, they was like, oh, bro, you know the names, and they killed me for that, and I was like, dude, like, we know some, we know some of the guys' names, bro. Come on, man. That is a bit crazy when you're like, you're not paying for the scenes either. You're just seeing this shit off a trailer, basically. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, no. N- knowing the names is crazy. I don't think it's knowing, that crazy. Knowing really. any of the names is crazy. Just watch it and get your business done and get up, nigga. Why are you learning names? Shut up. It, I know it was easy for you to recognize Prince Joshua, though. It, I don't. Right. Oh, okay. Not okay. like that. But you, you tell you know who that is? No. Oh. Yeah, you do, you bastard. That's the nigga you that say we, that about every you know, porn star. I don't like know who these people are. You say Blank says my dad looks like him. I just know him because uh, he be wearing the knee sleeves like Kobe. And, like, Kobe, <laughs> and he be having long... He, he got like the uh he does this like power oh, bomb. If you're talking about the, the knee sleeves, I know the nigga with the he knee. He got the knee. He be wearing knee sleeves and Tim's. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. exactly who you're talking and about. And he do a power bomb shit. Hey Blake, you're a sick nigga, dog. Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> I, I I gotta shoot Blake. <laughs> right over he said the just like twice before, yeah. I can't. This is Mister Shakur. I can't. Hey, wait, did I ever tell you niggas that Lex Steele works at the SeaTac uh, Airport? Man, get what? The fuck out of here, bro. That's a legend. What? You're lying. Get the fuck out of here. I think I feel like I remember texting you niggas this because you remember I worked back there 2017 and 2018. When I worked there, one I worked with one of these older niggas who's probably like 46, 47, but was like single, no kids, and extremely fucking horny. The only thing he talked about was like getting pussy, watching porn, like super wild shit. He's like, Man, I went over to the Delta, uh, the Delta Lounge the other week, and I seen a bald nigga in there that I know I recognize. I'm pretty sure it was Lex Steele. He said he walked up to the dude and asked him. The dude was like, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, 
I went home, I looked him up. And he goes, because my girl got the Lex Steel replica, so I looked at the packaging for it. What do you mean? Like, like a mold is meat? <laughs> That's yes. Like he said he bought his girl the like Lex Steel <laughs> joint. Yeah. He said I looked at the joint, packaging for the it. Joint. <laughs> he said, RFX statue. He said I looked at the packaging for it and I knew it was him. So I went back again a few days later. I seen him a couple days later. You probably pulled it up. It again. Blake, thank you. <laughs> Blake. Blake. He said, That's I asked line, him about bro. it again. And he said, dude, like I, he said he had his phone up. And the dude was like, all right, yeah, just don't talk about it. The day he told me about it, he had the fucking like packaging for it in his bag. He said, I was took it joint? over there. Yeah, no, not, not with the thing. It was the packaging that it came in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it was it was the packaging that it came in, but the thing wasn't in there. But he said he brought it back. To the airport and the security? day he told me about it, he brought it to the airport. We have to go through employee security. And he said he like brought it to work and took a picture of himself with the packaging at work so he can go and show the dude because he was like, I think it's hella funny though, like. The nigga works at the airport with us and has this thing, or I and I have this thing. So he wanted to show him, like, hey, like me, I I gang bang my wife with a, a replica of you. Me and you knocked out the part just last night, bro. <laughs> so I, he, he's telling me this, and I'm like, I don't believe you. And we go past him, or sorry, I tell him I don't believe him. He's like, I'll show you. So he takes me with the, to him with the Delta Lounge. I had never been over there. This wasn't something I realized we could access. We drive past the little thing. He goes, Lex. And the dude hits him with the peace sign. I'm like, oh, okay. So I didn't look him in his eye and tell you it was him. But a nigga went through all of this to tell me this, brought a sex toy packaging to work to tell me that, like, look, I confirmed with it that it's him. And then shouted him out by that name. And the dude was like, hey, how's it going, bud? Uh, the horny stuff. I'm not going to lie. That's the craziest story I think I've ever heard in my life. That's, that's nuts. That's insane. absurd. Absolutely absurd. But you never saw him like yourself, just like your home. I've seen him, but I don't. I didn't like. I didn't see him up close enough to be able to tell you nothing. Like we're outside, the nigga got he got he got Tim's work pants and a beanie on, so I can't really tell you nothing. Well, I can assure you, he doesn't work anymore. I've been in there like four times this month. He was out on the ramp, but we was out on the ramp. Like it wasn't an. Inside I thought you said he was in the Delta Club. No, like, he he looking for that nigga. He, he, <laughs> he goes into the Delta Club, and when you're going in and out, like he's a Delta employee. So that's yeah. where you can like sit and eat your food. Yeah, okay. That's crazy. Anyway, bro. sorry for derailing with uh Schmeed it up in normal life. <laughs> Shout out the legends. Schmeed it up. Yo, that's All insane. Right. Uh so we'll get into the, the NFL preview while we, we got oof, we got what? It's a lot of freak shit this podcast. Kind of, kind of deep in. There was a lot of freak shit. <laughs> and I'm gonna start I'm gonna start watching this boxing match uh while we do the, are they fighting? They're they're showing the celebrity walk-ups. They just showed uh, Draymond, Damian Lillard, and Chris Brown Which, walking up. Can you put the link? <laughs> yes, I can. Hold on. Thank you. Can you talk while I try to copy and paste this shit? Yeah. So, um, so, so. so either do y'all nobody's fucking y'all go Barberheimer? No, nobody none of that. No, I'm gonna go see Oppenheimer, I think, next weekend. And Amara's gonna go see Barbie, but we're not doing both because yeah. I don't want to see no Bobby. The, I want to watch. I want to watch Barbie. Um, the whole prospect of like um, them getting that whole entire effort together to drop a bomb on two hundred fifty thousand people is fucking insane. When you really think about it, um, that is crazy. Yeah. Oh, is that the JJK? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Kujisaki. We in there? So it's, con- it's leaked. So it's confirmed. Shout out to all hey, my no- Fortnite people. Uh, knowing that Oppenheimer dropped that bomb bomb when they didn't really need to, <laughs> they're like. Well, we built it, so we we gotta blow it up. I thought. Well, so hear me out. So this is why I've, I've heard that they did it. It was um, because going into a land war in Asia, even though they knew that they could probably beat Japan with the forces that we had at the time, um, the losses would have just been like so catastrophic. It was like that was the fastest way to end the war. Yeah, but the two cities they dropped it on weren't they like not cities that needed to be touched? Not needed to be touched. But, like they weren't like military outposts or nothing. Uh, I think they were manufacturing and shit like that. But at, at the oh, same okay. time, it's like, so if, if you say, like, they didn't matter, at the same time, they could have dropped that shit on Tokyo, and then now what? 
You hear that's me? Like this, uh, it's a Holocaust again. Like, it's, it's... <laughs> hey, that's fucking crazy to think about now that I like because I've been thinking all week. Like, damn, they have been talking about like Hiroshima and Nagasaki were like, like Kent and fucking Auburn, where it's yeah. like, hey, man, the only people that live there like work blue collar jobs, and you blew it up, and they all died. But it's like, or we could do it to Tokyo, and like forty times the amount of people died. Yep. And you got to think, too, that, like, even though, like, if the city, like, wasn't all that for military shit, um, with the way that their military was structured with, like, inscription and shit like that, it didn't matter if they had, like, healthy um, men who were, like, the age to serve. Um, yeah, at that point, yeah, you're just you're, you're depleting people who are going to come fight you eventually, especially if you're going to go there and have a land war with them. Like, if you're going to try to get down on the soil of Japan yeah. that way. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's I mean, obviously, like, a horrible incident in the history of humanity. But, um, yeah. Also, the fact that it, that Japan is even cool with us now, like if somebody dropped a nuclear bomb on America eighty years ago, mm-hmm. <laughs> we're gonna, we're still about to be fucking the Middle East up in eighty years from now over nine eleven. It's it's one so, of them things too though because I've heard it from the movie where it's like um, it had to be used in order to show an example of why we don't need to ever use these things again. Because yeah, everyone's getting the technology to build them and have them, and um, Oppenheimer was worried that the Germans were going to use it before they yeah. got a chance to. The Americans did, which obviously, like, they probably probably would have went way the fuck worse. Because if they yeah, were Germany, to Germany wouldn't people. have stopped. No, they probably Germany was like eight of them bitches. That, yeah, we did it in New York, and that shit went crazy. We doing yeah. it nine hundred and seventy eight more times. They just sent one for each borough. <laughs> 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 Hey, for Nito, yeah, yeah no, they would have been gone. I was about to make a joke about like how different the world would have been. It wouldn't have been a world. Fallout Four in real life. Oh, that, was, um, that shit threw me for a trip when the fucking black you don't fall out for is trying to fuck you. <laughs> I oh, forgot. Sure, Fallout Four is a good game. I, I'm not gonna go replay it ever. Yeah, that <laughs> don't so leave long, that shit on where it is. That was that was a great game. That was a great game. Uh, do you guys still want to? We're at an, an hour 36. You guys want to start doing the NFC AFC North? And you want to say that for next? None week? of our teams are in this. We can, oh, okay, okay. We won't, we won't get it. That's true. Yeah, we can right. do that. So, second week of the installment. You put the lines on here already, too. Yeah, you were out of here. I did. I tried. Hey, <laughs> we had plenty of time before you got. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, you ain't lying. Yeah, yeah, so I went and got the lines. So, we're going to go through the NFC and AFC North this week. Uh, Talk about our over unders for the team. If we have any thoughts on the teams or what storylines we think will matter, so we'll start with the NFC North and go with the Packers. So I'm gonna put their uh, put their schedule up first, and we'll get your guys' thoughts on what their their record will be. I don't know how good the Packers will be. But this largely hinges is, on what Jordan Love is, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I blow it up and I make it bigger? I don't know if that really yeah, that's the that's the biggest thing with them. Because I feel like they have some players on defense. Like, yeah, this schedule doesn't look crazy. Yeah, like yeah. they they finished so poorly last season. Like they're playing obviously their division, which isn't a super strong division. They play the NFC South, which at, as we reviewed last week, we think there's like 1.5 good teams in. <laughs> yeah, and they play the AFC West, which is probably that's a they're probably team. just just as good as the back, or just as good or better than the two worst teams in the AFC West. And then probably just as good as probably just as good, or if not a little worse than the chargers. And then the chiefs are probably smoking. Yeah. If, if this was the Packers of last year, then in my mind, when I see this schedule, I'm immediately thinking that they're, they're going to open five and zero. Oh. but yeah, it's just, it's just obviously, yeah, we have no idea what Jordan love is. So it's yeah. really hard to say like the, for the say the seven and a half wins is like, I, that, I feel like they're crazy better than me. that. I feel like they're better than seven and a half wins. But you think, yeah, you, you're thinking about the package that you've known for the past, what, 12, yeah. 15 years? Or whatever. Totally yeah. different. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm kind of also leaning on that game that we saw of uh, Jordan Love last year when him and Christian Watson went crazy uh, for its five plays when Aaron Rodgers got hurt. Maybe they can, like, because it was like, I don't, I don't even know what it was. But Christian Watson had, like, three catches for three touchdowns or something like that. That dude was a weapon. Jordan Love, Jordan Love came in. But I get them seven. Well, the seven, I go. I got them at seven and ten. I'm looking at it. Yeah, seven seems right. Yeah, I get them seven and ten. 
But to Blake's point, like if they won nine games, wouldn't be surprised. If they won five games, also wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I honestly have no idea. I guess I mean, sure, I'll. God damn, like, because the Vikings are going to be decent. Detroit looked promising last year. Um, we expect Chicago to be better, but yeah, what is better? Be better? I don't. At least five or six wins because they only won three games last year, and that's got to come from somewhere, right? So. I mean, I, I don't really expect them to be better, honestly. I'm, I'm not, out, not substantially. Say, I'll say seven because I, if I was going to bet on them, I'd bet the under on the seven just to be safe. Yeah, I yeah, agree. I so we all got the Packers seven to ten. ten. Yeah, <laughs> because it, it also does. Aside from their quarterback situation being in flux, the rest of the division being in flux. Because I don't think any team is going to win 12, 13, 14 games. But yeah, if like if the Vikings sweep the division, that's not crazy because they are better than the rest of them. Or if the Lions sweep most of the division, that's not crazy. I can't see the Packers doing that though. No. All right. Um, so then we got the Lions. Let's pull They're the favorite same divisions, division probably. This year. The, 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 the yeah, same division. The Lions are the favorite to win the division at nine Plus and one thirty wins. You know, I'm gonna like, yeah, I'm gonna say off the bat, nine and a half seems high for me, but it's 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 trying to rewrite in my head what the Lions are, right? Like, yeah, yep, they're they're a better team than they have been for the last twelve years. Like, so, like, I I'm not mentally ready to accept that they're supposed to. The line is nine and a half for them, so I'm gonna say under. And I'll probably if I had to pick without seeing the schedule, oh, yeah, I'll probably say yeah. Right. Like, hey. they got a tough schedule. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say six wins. Like, I don't – that's have catastrophic. And people are going to lose their fucking jobs if they get six wins. But Before their bye week, they play Kansas City, Seattle, yeah, tough as hell. Green Bay, Baltimore, and oh, Las Vegas. God damn. Goodell hate And they though. play Atlanta, who we don't think is going to be awful. Mm-mm. So they got a tough – and then they op- – out of their bye, they play the Chargers, Bears, Saints. That's brutal. Uh, they play Minnesota. They, yeah, they have one, two, three – for five division games after the bye, and they play the Cowboys in Dallas. <laughs> hey, them winning nine and a half games is optimistic. They have a lot of tough games on their schedule. Mm-hmm. And can, I ask, like, can I ask that we go out of order here after this one? Can we do Minnesota after this one? Sure. I, I don't, that's gonna like that's that's what's fucking me up a lot with this division is that with how many wins that they got last year, I don't know where these other teams are going to start getting wins from. So okay. I just want to hear what y'all think about that once we get to yeah, that. Yeah, we'll look at that. Oh, yeah, but looking, at, looking at their schedule, they play in Kansas City, in Baltimore, in L.A., which uh, prob- – no, nah, there's not a lot of people from Detroit and L.A., I don't think. In are New they Orleans, better than the Raiders? In Dallas. like all their, yes. uh, Yeah, I'd say yeah. Okay. But all of their hard games are on the road, like in Kansas City, in Baltimore – in LA, in Dallas, like the they games that we're talking about are games on the road. That, that yeah. Seattle game's not a game either. Like they were better than they're supposed to be last year. Mm-mm. Yeah, Atlanta's gonna be tough. The thing with Detroit is like I know, like they had a good offense and their old line is really good. It's just like their team. We'll see. They football. they lost uh, their number one back. They did replace them with another back, but yeah, Dave Montgomery's pretty good. They just paid him. But, oh yeah, no. I got, Mid- what happened? I'm. I'm already looking at Minnesota's schedule and I don't like it. I got them at eight and nine, the Lions. That yeah, I said guess. six wins for the Lions. So I got you. Oh, sorry, my bad. So under you got that way. Yeah. So, uh, so I got eight, eight oh. nine. Ten, yeah, nine. I'm giving Minnesota or sorry, the Lions, I'd say eight. Seven even. But eight. I'll go eight for now. Broad wave. Who is this? Scroll down a little more. This is the Vikings. So the Vikings schedule is tough. They open with Tampa Bay, Philly, the Chargers, the Chiefs. I'm skipping Carolina, but they also open with the division game, or sorry, against the Carolina. Uh, San Francisco, New Orleans, Cincinnati. The Vikings got a hell of a schedule coming up. No, that's what happens. You win games, you get the shit. Yeah. You get that number one finish, you are getting the number one finish. Yeah. 
Um, so there's no favors on here for sure. Did Tampa go to the playoffs last year? Or they missed them. They, they missed won. It. They won the division. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, four, five, six. I see. I see ten yeah. for them. Yeah, yeah, I got six, ten to seven. Six playoff teams. I got ten wins. So you guys both have ten. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm. This is one of the bets I like to. I think I'm going to put money on for them to win the division because they got them. They're second, and it's like plus two thirty or some shit like that. I like that. Hey, oh, they have them being second because mm-hmm. the Detroit's favorite. All right, yeah, I like that too. Yeah, That's are you guys I'm just taking them against like their division and then the like team and a couple like random? Yeah, this is a tough schedule, but I'm just thinking like that offense is legit. Um, yeah, obviously sure. Jordan Jefferson, but they added they added Addison this year. Jordan Addison, KJ mm-hmm. Osborne was solid last year in the playoffs. Um, the defense should get better with Brian Flores. Brian Flores, like he's the defense can't be worse is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's got to get better. No matter who the Flores fuck is, is yeah, yeah. Okay, defense is yeah, trash. I got, last I got year. them at ten to seven. If I go one. Shout out to Extreme Tenors. Her cousins. Yeah, I got 10 and 7 for them. Look at this. We're on the same page. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess I'm looking at 10 too. Just Look even like up. even yeah, even splitting some of these, like I'm I'm discounting any team I think is better than them. I'm saying they lose to. But yeah, even looking at that, like I, I think there's 10 wins. You said 10 and 7 too, Tyrell? Yeah. At least that, spicy. Man. That might be <laughs> vision preview. All right. Well, I got spicy for you. I'm gonna tell you off. I don't see schedule yet. Five wins for the Bears. Oh, you, you braver than me. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> them, I'm not feeling good about them at all. Oh. Uh. So the Bears open up Green Bay, Tampa. Why does every all of these teams seem to play Tampa in the first two weeks somehow, or the first two? Yeah. Weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, Green Bay, Tampa, Kansas City, Denver. Washington, Minnesota, Vegas, Chargers, Saints, Panthers. They got a week 13 bye. Goddamn. For the first 12 weeks, I don't think there's a team other than the Packers. Or no, I'd say other than the Buccaneers that I think they're actually better than. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is I got six or seven wins. I got six or seven right now. Bud Crawford, in fact, sorry, Jamal. Bud Crawford, in fact, does have a basketball net on coming out, and he's coming out with Eminem. Yep, in a prime chain. Uh, Errol Spencer, too. Yeah. This is, a, this is a dude with suspenders and a bow tie, a white guy behind him. This is what crazy. the fuck is All happening? Right. <laughs> um, yeah, the Bears do have a relatively weak schedule, but just like, yeah, I don't feel good. Like, a lot of their weak games are – Teams that are just as good as them. Did you say six wins, Jamal? Six or seven. You got pick. Uh, let me go through it one more time. What did you have week nine? Five, five. Yeah, I got six and 11. Yeah, I got them six and eleven. Cause they're they're I I feel like if they play a little better on defense, Justin Jefferson takes like a not Justin Jefferson, uh Justin Fields takes a takes a leap. Uh second year in that system. I do like his talent. I'm rooting for him to be good. Uh they got my guy DJ Moore now. It's my dog. Uh yeah, they double their win total, and that's still only six wins. So I got them at six and eleven. All right. Yeah. So, Double yeah. five and twelve here. I've I've got them winning four games. Holy moly! So what? Four and thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. You're not good in Chicago. Not good at there at all. Yeah. Don't go to they're Texas. not good. They're not good in Chicago. It's also true. <laughs> and brother stink. Uh, what Blake? You got five wins. I did have five. A good five right. and twelve for him. This division I feel a lot less confident about because there's only one team that I think is actually not like a Super Bowl contender. So we got the AFC North. Um, So we got the – we're going to start with the Steelers. The Kenny Pickett Express. Who also don't have that easy of a schedule. Like for a team that 
again, it could be good, could be bad. Open with San Francisco, Cleveland, Vegas, Texans, Baltimore. Then they got their bye, which I think there's three losses starting out, so two and three probably. And then they come back with the Rams, Jacksonville, Tennessee, Green Bay, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Arizona, New England, Indy. There's a lot of tough games on here. They might win seven games. I got eight and nine. Eight? Yeah. It's going to be the first Mike Tomlin under, under 500, ain't it? Yeah. Ah, which makes yeah. me think that they're probably going to win nine games. Yeah, that's that's probably what's going to happen somehow. <laughs> All right, Blake, put me down for nine. It I got eight and nine. Yeah, give me nine and eight. Hopefully I'm on the wrong side of history. I yeah. think I got, I got nine and eight, too. Yeah, I'm going nine and eight. Even yeah. looking at this and looking at the games that might be toss ups, they're probably winning those because they're going nine and eight. Mike T, man. I I'm very that. interested to see what Kenny Pick looks like this year, where there's like no question he's the guy. But around him, this team is exactly the same. They added Larry Ogunjobi, and basically that's it. They have the or Pat yeah. P. Pat P. They're carrying four quarterbacks. Wow. Which probably won't last long. Tanner Morgan is the fourth quarterback. I didn't know Mason Rudolph for until he got his head beaten either, so you never know. And they just keep a job. Yeah. But, yeah, this roster looks very unappealing. But, uh, gee. yeah. Allen Robertson, is Allen Robertson going to be healthy? I don't know. George Pickett's solid. Beyonce Johnson, solid. Allen Robinson, like he might have a bounce back year. He uh back in, no, nah, he's from Detroit actually. Never mind. They, they got Pat Fryermuth. They think they're, they're yelling his name Ooh, out there. <laughs> oh, they love a quarter uh, tight end like that. White people love a, a a tight end with a name that they can do the Ooh. Yep. They got Oakland's finest Najee uh, Najee out there. You got uh, he got he was part there. of the uh, the Wakanda outreach program. Yeah, he almost <laughs> lost his job last year. <laughs> his back his backup. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Um, so then we got the Browns. This division is so ugly. God damn. There's so there's like because there's three good teams. It's hard to just get people high win totals. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you know like these numbers can't add up. Like the numbers we're coming up. Uh-oh. Yeah. Hey, and and the extra week is crazy. Having a week five buy or a week thirteen buy is fucking disgusting. Uh-huh. The, the Browns open up Cincy, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, Baltimore. They open up with three of their four first four games being division games, which is absurd. And I can I've, make or break their season right there. They gotta get yeah, there. like your your season depends on your first three games. Then a bye week, and they come back against San Francisco, Indy, Seattle, Arizona. Two more division games, Denver, Rams, uh, Jags, Bears, Texans, Jets, Cincinnati again. So they play for all of their division games, half of their division games within three weeks. And then the next half of them come or the next two thirds come within two weeks. Makes no sense. They have a week five by. So I feel like they're being set up to not play very well. In my heart, I'm willing to give them 12 wins, but I know it makes no sense. For the oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. No, I do think they're a good team, though. I, I think I think. I think Deshaun Watson gets back to form, and he's That's not a saying. top five quarterback, but top eight quarterback. Top There's seven. no way he's bad like that again. Yeah, because like, dude, he it doesn't he make so much time. Like, yeah. He might be a nasty man, shitty person, but like the last year he played, he led the league in yards and like QBR while Patrick they Mahomes like he, was in the league. He, they couldn't even have the, the playbook that they had. Like he had a playbook from OTAs, and that's what he was working with. So yeah, it's like, he had the matter. They obviously changed it. Yeah, they they, they had obviously changed it by the time he got back, and it's like he tried to do that mid season. Like it's impossible. Brock Purdy did it. Uh, he had the same playbook the whole time, though. He just happened to like not play until then, or get to do reps in practice. I guess you got three teams. Three teams can make the playoff yeah. in one division, right? <laughs> Brock, uh, technically, yeah. Brock Purdy was allowed in the facility. The oh difference. yeah, because the the NFC East did that yet last year, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I I feel like this would be one of the divisions to do that. Then. Yeah, I think the Browns are winning five games. Nigga, Whoa. what? Fuck no. I Go to the casino right now, my boy. I'm, I'm putting the Browns down for five games. Five and what is that? Five and 12. 
Yeah. I don't like their like I don't like how their schedule is set up because like even if like things go right and they they beat Tennessee and Baltimore in a row before their bye, they have to run off. They have thirteen weeks in a row. I got nine wins. Like that's a Uh, lot. Yeah, I got got nine and and seven. I got nine. Yeah, I'm giving them five. I'm giving Earl Spence, man. All right, and then we have uh, we the Ravens. <laughs> I'm trying to watch this fight, so I'm trying to get through these. Same. I've been forgetting that I don't have them on the screen for you guys to see the schedule. I just been looking. Uh, ooh, this is for the Ravens. Oh yeah, that, that yeah. Tennessee, Detroit, Arizona stretch right there. It's a get right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the Ra- the Ravens open up with Houston, dub out the gate. Like, you're winning that game. I'm giving them one there. Division game against the, the Bengals. Indy, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Tennessee, Detroit. They should win all those games. So they should start out, what, two, five, five and one? Yeah. Six, seven, they got a really one. good start. I've got And then you guys, wins. Seattle, Cleveland, Cincinnati, the Chargers. Of those first 12 games, they should probably win. They won't, but they should win 10 of those first 12 games. I got 12 and 5. That's what I got. Overall? Mm-hmm. I just went through it. I picked them to go last year to go to the fucking Super Bowl. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, I got, I got them with 12 wins. I like 12 yeah. wins for them. At 89. Boom. All right. All right, Mr. Hot Take. I'm so I went I because I, I normally I just go off my gut feeling, but like you we were talking about the division being so good already, and I just was like running through this trying to see where the wins were. I well, got Marco played the game the right way, is what you're saying? What know, what games do you think they're dropping that they shouldn't? Because if you got eight and nine, they're losing a lot of games they shouldn't. Oh, I think the obviously the Bengals is a tough out for them. Um so that's two. If I okay, think the, so. the Browns are supposed to be a what I say, um ten win team. That I can't give them both of those either. Um, I don't think the Chargers are a gimme. They're not. Um, I, I counted that as an L. I don't think Mike Tomlin's a rollover either. So I got, and then San Francisco obviously is, is is an L in my book. So Miami's a probably a better team than them too. Yeah, well, they have a quarterback by a week or by New Year's Eve. Sure. What are you trying to say? I'm saying what I'm saying. Will they have a quarterback by New Year's Eve? The Pineapple Express. Uh, MVP, a quarterback in the MVP though, discussion, yeah. All right. Okay. Sounds great. But we can lie. And then – Will, has will the Ravens have a quarterback by week eight? Yes. They got a promo backup, so they straight. They can wrestle tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, no, they, right. they, they, they have a backup. They will yeah, have they a quarterback. They got a promo backup, actually. So, and they can then, run two quarterbacks well, if they want, Loki. Last team. That ain't Hathaway. The the Shan Shan. I keep thinking we're getting ready to talk about the Chargers because I see keep seeing fucking Justin Herbert. Same. You keep seeing his forearm and you just know it's him. I'm gonna say 13 see, wins off the rip. You see greatness for Sonic. Off the dribble. Honestly, Blake, I'm inclined to go exactly with what you just said. God damn it. Dickie and this brazen. All right, let's it's see. So it's insane. Uh so they got Cleveland, Baltimore, Rams, Titans. Cardinals, Seahawks. If the Bengals start out what six and zero, I'm not shocked. Based off the the like rankings I've had That's so far, right there. and what I think, I think they can start six and zero. Five and one is like probably the realistic number. But if they if they start out four and two, I'm going to be surprised. There ain't a lot of elves in that, that before that buy. Ooh, but coming, I don't coming out, possible, but I got them at like 12 too. Honestly, I'm looking at coming, coming out of the bye. They got San Francisco, Buffalo, two very tough games. Uh, then they got Houston, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, the Colts, the Vikings, Pittsburgh again, Kansas City, and Cleveland. So, actually, if they don't, if they don't come out of the, the like go into the bye at like five and one, the back half gets nasty. Can I ask how they keep on playing the Chiefs in the regular season? I feel like this keeps happening. That's the little battle. It's like the New England and Indianapolis thing. Yeah. Payton versus Brady. 
They make or sure the Chargers right. versus the Jags. Me and Jamal somehow got to watch our teams <laughs> play like eight years in a row. If they're like, oh, these two teams work together, mm-hmm. we're going to make it happen. And that's what they're doing right now with them. Yeah. Makes sense, though. Like the two best quarterbacks in the league right now, Burrow Ooh. and Mahomes, probably. Yeah. yeah. It's hard not yeah. to say that it, Allen's the only other option. And I think Burrow's saying, better yeah. than Allen. At least two of the top three. For yeah. sure. This is a tough schedule because they like Kansas City has not beat them in the regular season since Joe Burrow got there. They've only beaten them once. It was in the playoffs. Kansas City hasn't beaten them yet. And this is going to be in Kansas. It's going to be in Burrowhead. With two weeks left to go. It's on New Year's Eve. Hey, can we how close is Denver to Kansas City? Like Um, they are the next state over, but they're on the border of the next state over. Can we road trip? No. Nah. Um, we could. It's a, that is a terrible drive across Kansas. Let me tell you from yeah, experience. I, that shit I, stinks. Can, I can only imagine. Yeah, it's a turnpike, too, so you got to pay. Is there a hill in all of Kansas? There is. They're very long hills, and you can see for very far. Yuck. Mm. Uh, I like... <sighs> the first interstate in the, the history of America is in Kansas. That's where... Is that Route 66? No. Oh, okay. Interstates came after Route 66. That's the highway. Okay. What's the route ESTG be talking about all the time? Is that one Route 66? Probably not. Route 66 oh, okay. goes from like California to um, I think Ohio or something. All right. So I think I got the Bengals winning 11 games, which is less than I have the uh, the Ravens winning. This is a tough ass schedule. Yeah, no, never, never mind. 12, 12, 12, 12. Yeah, I got I'm both of them at 12 over. and 5, and I don't know I'm if that's that over. possible, but I have it's, not, five. it's probably not possible if you have the other two teams both going yeah, 9 Yeah, give and me eight. 11 to 6. I, I put them down for 11 to 6. Wait, Jamal, do you want to reconsider having both the Steelers and nah, the Yeah, so I want to take nine uh, games. I want to take the Steelers down to 7 to 9. Damn. Yeah, I know. I, I'm a cool. Seven Sorry, to Mike ten. Tomlin. <laughs> seven to ten. Yeah, my fault. These motherfuckers are throwing. Yeah, I need a. Uh, I need us to get up out of here so I can watch. All right, stuff. man. Fuck podcast episode one twelve, man. And you we fuck with us, fuck with y'all. We rocking. What say, say some shit? You gotta get get your shit off. Get shit off. Uh, hmm? y'all don't want to uh, talk about uh. So obviously, no. you know the the SAG and the writer strike still going on. So San Diego Comic Con was greatly affected. They didn't show like a lot of Marvel DC movies stuff. So. So it was pretty heavily based off comics this year. But we did see uh, Craven was supposed to come out October this year. That pushed back to August of next year. The Marvels are still on track for November this year. Fire. Uh, Cap- Captain America Brave New World is on for August of next year. Now I think they got pushed back two weeks. Uh, there's still no news about Deadpool 3 getting pushed hey. back. Hold on. There's no way that while this strike is going on, you're only pushing something back two weeks, unless you know something that nobody else knows. Yeah, I don't. I think they might have a lot of it done already. I think they finished filming right before like the strike. But like, if you're pushing it back at all, why would you need to push it back two weeks? I have no idea. But then a, a lot of people are thinking like something's going on with the Aquaman because we didn't, we still haven't gotten an Aquaman two Lost Kingdom trailer yet, and we haven't seen nothing about that, that from a uh, cis DC fandom two years ago. Might and that was like, roll that shit up. Yeah, but they're they're saying it's all done. But I know that it's gone through a bunch of changes because of Ooh. No. put James that shit on the shelf with Batwoman. That's crazy. That's because uh, <laughs> James Gunn they took out the uh, not Michael Keaton the Ben Affleck Batman scenes out. So like it's gone through that because he said he didn't want to promise a universe that's not going somewhere because obviously Ben Affleck's done and he's not appearing in anything else. Mm. Anything else from uh, San Diego Comic Con? No, nah, just like a bunch of comic news. They're uh, rebooting books and shit. Uh, yeah, I can't really think of Secret Evasion wrapped up. Yeah, what'd you guys think of Secret Evasion? You guys Tyrell ain't watching it. <laughs> hey, you all can say whatever y'all want. I'm not watching that show. Really? I'll watch it. I'll I'll watch it eventually. I watched the first few episodes. It was just I'll, I thought it was fairly I'll, disappointing that they knew they I'll could play it. into the paranoia shit that they did after everything ended. Like that's what the show should have been in the fucking first place. Like everybody trying to figure out who the fuck is the scroll, like the vigilante shit in the streets and stuff like that. It's like y'all gave us that in a 45 second sizzle reel when that's what the show should have fucking been all along. Like, I don't know, man. This, so, this is, yeah. this is where, funny, do you, but where do you rank I, this show in the 80s? I think that's why I, 
Well, it's impossible before. for me to do that because I don't go back and rewatch these. And I know that I have an MCU bias because I look at these things as like this sets up this. So I'm entertained because of that. Like I'll give any MCU thing a chance because what what they did going into Infinity War, yeah. I give them hell of fucking rope to play with. Um, so this I is can't directly going to lead into the Marvels. Yeah, the that's what I'm saying. Leads into the Marvel, leads into the Captain America. Mm-hmm. Like this sets up a, a lot of shit in that sense. So it's hard for me to to go back and compare this to other stuff. Like I don't know. And I, the future of the Fantastic Four is in this too. And and I do know like because I saw like you got the crazy low review of Rotten Tomatoes. Like when I when I look at stuff like that, like I know like as me and you we watched fucking Titans. Like I didn't think any of this was worse than fucking Titans. Like how the, how that season went, but obviously this opened like as one of the worst <laughs> shows in Rotten Tomatoes history. So it's like. When I see shit like that, like I know, like I'm not the person to ask about how this show is because I have fucking blinders on for this. It stuff. was fine to me, like out of the eight Disney shows. And that's I, how I, I feel all the time. Like if I had to rank them in the, out of the eight Disney Plus shows, I think I had it number four. But yeah, like it, it was, it was just solid. Like the ending was kind of a little disappointing. Like I'm still kind of curious about how they did, like Amelia uh, Clark's character, uh, Gaia. I don't think she's gonna be the Super Scroll, but uh, that's just crazy. Be- yeah, obviously we got the the scrolls and shit now. So Tyrell, you don't you're not picking up what he's talking about, but like Gaia and Lily Clark literally has the powers of every single fucking no, yeah. character. I, I've seen the, 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 the yeah, I've seen power. the pictures of her afterwards, and they were like she's yeah. like all of the strongest ones combined. The into most one. powerful being in the MCU, probably. Yeah, which is yeah, wild. Which no, is, yeah. I, well, I wasn't gonna we'll say see. like Oops. Okay. This just the fact that they kind of revealed what everything was to start the show was kind of why I wasn't that intrigued with it. Like, obviously, mm-hmm. I haven't seen it to say everything was revealed, but I'm like, okay, like they're showing that this person's a scroll already, this person's a scroll already. Like, rolling it out, I feel like would have been better because I was just like, oh, I don't need or, I'm, I'm just like, they, they didn't play with mm-hmm. it enough. Like, yeah, I don't know. They, they could have done so much more with that mystery of who is who type of shit. But they didn't do any of that in this show. And that was just like, I don't know, really disappointing to me. Yeah. And I feel like what they did with Nick Fury was like so off base from how he's been throughout the rest of the MCU depictions of him. Um, that it's, it's almost like a different character that we've seen inside this this yeah. series. So it's just a bit. Like you, it, you think it would have made more sense for them to not have him be involved in this show? Like have it be a different character? Or I just feel like Nick Fury sense. wouldn't try to take the shit all on his own. Like he would like that's not who he's been throughout the entire MCU yeah. run. Like he, he has calm. friends, he calls his friends, he does what's best for the fucking mission. He's not like the put the pride before the mission type of guy. He's never been that. So why would he take this 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 personal in this one when so much was at stake? Why would he fucking um give the dude like the actual serum to make him a superpower and hope that like guy is able to strong enough to fight him one on one to win that shit? Like that's that's stupid as fuck. Like he wouldn't think that way. But I don't no, know. But like that's because uh, that was a plan. Like Gaia was went in and places him. But you didn't have to make him super like ultra school too because they were already equals. Because remember, she already had the powers too. She already had whatever graphic had at that point. Yeah. And so he didn't have to do that like shit. Over. That was a dumbass risk. Yeah. No. Nah, and then she's gonna be like working with like the Russians and shit now too. I'm kind of curious as to. Or no, she's she's gonna be. She, I think that was the setup to go to her to go to Val's team. She's gonna be on the um. What the are those Thunderbolts? I think so. No, nah, that's the other uh ladies like leading the Thunderbolts. Uh, the I woman think she's that Ross is over there. But they're gonna set up two two different teams besides the Avengers. Nah, yeah, it could just be like some Russia shit because uh Ross's ex wife. Um, I think she's I know Madam you're Hydra. About Julia Lewis yeah. Dreyfus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, she's Madam Hydra. Like she's gonna be like having the Thunderbolts because Thunderbolts that got pushed back, but that's coming out December of next year. I think they're trying to take her over there. Cause we don't know anybody else on that team with the chick in the red coat. Like that's, that's kind of no, crazy. No, the most powerful no, person ever. No, that would make the team OP though. Think about so that that team they got Yelena, uh, White Widow, whatever, uh, Black Widow sister. They got a, uh, they got a uh, Ghost from a uh, got Ghost. Yeah, Ghost from the second Ant Man movie. Mm-hmm. They got a uh, Red. They got Red Guardian. Um, Red Guardian. Bucky's on there. Winter Soldier, and. Bucky, there's but she's their heavy hitter, then, right? Because they don't have like the you feel me? Like the Avengers got like Doctor Strange and Hulk and Thor and shit. Like, Thunderbolts don't have that, yeah. No, nah, they don't really got anybody. They got like hella people with like the same kind of powers, yeah, like almost regular people. Low key, I don't know, man. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what it sets up because obviously, like, the Marvels that's gonna be a big play. 
with the scrolls going crazy and shit, and people trying to kill the scrolls too. So um, that's, that's gonna uh, Carol Danvers is gonna be able to ignore that. So oh, Taskmaster and U.S. Agent. All right. Yeah. So they got they have two Captain Americas. Pretty much <laughs> three Captain yeah. Americas actually. Yeah. It's a lot of team like. It's a lot of people that kind of do the same shit. The only person that has like some very different powers is kind of Ghost. Yep. And I don't know how she kind of fits in, but she's like unstable too. So that's yeah. she's probably gonna be the ones like, oh, I can't do any more type of shit. Yeah, she's fine though. So salute her. That'll help. Yeah, no, salute. Uh, I don't really got nothing else. Me neither. Shout out Tyrell's yeah. bike in the background though. Yeah. Oh, uh, everybody listen to this. Go uh go cop Black Panther 2. It's starting off to a really good. I like that right now. Issue two just came out this week. Go check that out. And why don't you promote us, nigga? Actually, yeah. Uh, if y'all want to fuck with us or have questions or shit that you want to ask us, oh yeah, so listen to us. Crazy unfocused uh, at gmail.com. We're right there. So just check that out or come questions. to Twitter, wherever you want to go. Just uh, come fuck with us, interact. You know, we know y'all are yeah. out there. All whatever number of y'all. So. You can ask us anything. A, a, a good number, of y'all. We, we won't answer either. anything, but we can. You can ask us. <laughs> Yeah, and or if, and if it's something you don't want them to answer, I'll answer it the best of my capabilities. Ask mm. us anything. I'll read I'll your question. Anything. We'll give you a shout out, and we'll give we we'll, we'll, we're gonna give out a prize too to a lucky listener. We go figure. They ask you for your bank account and routing number. You gonna do it? Fuck no. All right, so there you go. But yeah, well, nah, we'll, well I will say we fuck with those of the, those of you that fuck with us because that's a big seeing fan. the numbers go up. If you if you tapped in, if you downloading, if you listening, we fuck with y'all. Just know you family. Yep. Link Shout up. out Mac and Juwan. I'm gonna say that because both of y'all have both been heavy interactors. So, oh yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. Dog, Winston asked me every Saturday if it if the shit ain't open on Saturday. Yeah, Winston, what the hell is y'all doing? That's my shit in the morning. But yeah, oh yeah, man, we got to tell you, happy late birthday, Blake. Obviously, your birthday was this week. A couple days ago, old, old ass, ass nigga. nigga. Yeah, well, you know I'm out here, man. Yeah, shit, yeah. Trade you six now. Oh, thirty-two, Excuse man. Me? I'll be there with you in a few months. There you go. You know. The hater over here. Oh, shout out my sister Naya. Today's her birthday. My baby sister just turned 19. Sheesh. I know, right? It's so weird. Like, dog, I was driving to work and I saw my sister on the freeway driving. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Caught her in traffic, huh? Yeah. Hey. She like calls me. She's like, I just drove past you. I was like, God damn, I remember I used to have to take you everywhere. That yeah, I'm, she's be downstairs watching all the cartoons and shit. I swear that should be making me want to tear up a little bit. Every time I go to my brother's job and see him at work, I'm like, God damn it, Nick. Yeah. Fuck your little ass doing here. I should have steal something off GP. <laughs> <laughs> Make you do something about it. DeAndre, do you know this man? Mm-hmm. He dapped you up with the stolen product in his hand. Go ahead, fish, or I'll beat your ass later. <laughs> <laughs> Total I'm, bread. I'm not paying his bills, so I ain't doing that. Uh-huh. No, sir. But yeah, nice nah, episode. Damn, 112, 112 of the things. Yeah, damn, these numbers yeah. just kind of fly by. Fight back, Earl Smith. And we're finishing it at 2.12 minutes. Look at us. Hit the goddamn button. All right, 1.12.